Have you ever met such a cold-hearted person like this? I saw my father die before my eyes without shedding a tear. Grandfather died horribly. He was his only close relative. To avenge his grandfather, he has killed all those who resemble the enemy in shape. Thanks to his violent nature, he has conquered the demons that followed him step by step, gradually drifting in the underworld to find the one who killed my grandfather. The story begins. Our main character has just gone to pick medicinal herbs. Hit me in the eye. This is the scene of my grandfather lying in a pool of blood. The body of my grandfather is split in half. The houses of the two grandfathers and grandchildren have also been burned down. The main character remembered the happy days spent with his grandfather. Grandpa, look at this. This is spirit herb. Well done indeed, our child. You followed grandpa's instructions, searched the area to the east of the valley, and found it. Oh wow, there are so many. Seems like enough for us to make a lot of money. When I dig up the spirit herb, there is a fox den nearby. But no mother fox, only the young ones. So you have already killed the baby foxes, haven't you? Why do I have to do this? If I go back to the den and see all the cubs dead, their mother fox will be very sad. All right, you are very obedient. Quickly rearrange this place and let's go have dinner. Is it true that Zheng Ri promised me this? What's the matter, Grandpa? The hidden nature inside you. Never reveal your true self to anyone. Think about it. The male protagonist shouted, then asked, Grandpa, I'm sorry. I couldn't keep my promise to my grandfather. After spending a few days in Zhongliang district, the prison vehicles are currently moving. Inside are names of cold-blooded pirates. When people saw these robbers, they became angry and cursed. Look at those wretches. All the bandits and criminals are being caught. Indeed, they are the scum of society. The scum will all die. At the same time, in an inn, a man is asking the innkeeper, Who is that person? Why is he locked up in a wooden frame all alone like that? with no one else around. It looks so young, doesn't it? It seems like I am of the same age as the son of my house. Looking at him, it's impossible to underestimate him. He seems to be the most dangerous criminal among those who were caught this time. So he was given such an exclusive escort, right? But he is a martial artist master, so he is probably not a problem for him. But surely he would be surprised to know how many people he had killed with just a blade that resembled the Grid Reaper's scythe, wouldn't he? His nickname is Lin Shou Gu. No matter what, he is just a criminal murderer. But this time, why are you here? I came to ask for your help in finding someone. A young person. But the fact of their death is also not a problem. At that moment, under him, Lion Shagag was pelted with rocks by the villagers, accompanied by curses. These beasts deserve punishment from heaven. The constant cursing from the people echoed through the streets without cease. Now the head of Lion Shagai is also bleeding. However, this makes the person sitting upstairs amazed. He was amazed when he saw Lion Shogdi's face. The boss above also saw and said, That face is truly beautiful and captivating. At first glance, one would think it is a woman. At the same time, the mysterious person stood up and said to the restaurant owner, Let's pretend I haven't said anything yet. After speaking, he immediately left. The owner saw that and tried to chase after him asking, Where are you going? Why did you come here? Say a few words and then leave like that. The mysterious person just walked out like that. While walking on the road, he was thinking, finally, I found it. The person is the one we are looking for. As the night falls in Zhongliang district, Jin Yu Guan, located in the downtown area, in the prison, soldiers are patrolling on guard duty. They are guarding Lin Shou Gai. Inside the dungeon, Lin Shou Gai was feeling sad and thinking, I was really careless to let that name capture me. I remember that battle. The scar-faced guy is laughing and saying, Fantastic, isn't it? I always wonder who dares to ruin my good things. But I never thought that person would be a kid who is not as grown up as you. You are indeed a monster, making me tired since earlier. Lion Shou Gu felt his neck being squeezed and thought, Finally, I have found my grandfather's enemy. He is clearly different from the others. I was caught immediately without any chance to resist. Even if I did resist, the result would have been the same. No matter how hard I try. I still can't think of a way to kill him. Come back to the present, he said. He knows martial arts. If I learn martial arts, I will have the chance to defeat him. But do I still have a chance? Will this opportunity come around again for the second time? At this moment, there is a puff of smoke flying into the dungeon. Lion Shou Gai was amazed when he saw the smoke. He immediately thought, What is this blurry smoke? Is it burning? And what about this faint scent? When living with my grandfather, I have dug, smelled, and tasted various medicinal herbs for many years. These scents are 300 herbs, 
angelica sinensis, herbal plants, yan ying herbs. This is the scent of anesthesia smoke. At the same time, all the soldiers fainted. But he also smelled that smell and gradually sunk into a daze. After he passed out, there is a person opening the door, stepping inside. This person is standing in front of me. He then reached out his hand towards where you were sitting. One second later, his legs were freed. But at the same time, he realized that there was a gaze staring at him. That gaze belonged to Lion Shage. It turns out he didn't faint. He immediately hit him on the head with a pillow. He pushed him aside strongly and then quickly ran away. While running, he was thinking, I don't know what's happening, but this is my chance. I am too familiar with this intoxicating smoke. While he was running, he was stopped again. For that person has stabbed the acupoints behind my back. The man aimed at dangerous spots on him and said, You have been hit at dangerous spots by me. Now you will not be able to move. Lion Shou Guy also did not believe because he hit at dangerous spots on me from when. After stopping his thinking, he was thrown into a corner by that guy. After being prone, he thought, This is a martial artist. Could it be that person come to kill me? No. They may look alike on the outside, but this person does not have a scar around their left eye. Just at that moment, someone walked in and asked, Guard Kang, who is this person that everyone is talking about? I was told to wait outside because it's dangerous in here. I've never been inside a prison before, so I just want to have a quick look. I want to see for myself, but there's nothing impressive about it at all. It just has a terrible smell. Is it him? Quickly get him to stand up on the chair. The bodyguard Kang also immediately went to the place of Lin Sha Gu, pulling him up to sit down. When the other person saw the face of Lin Sha Gu, they also smiled and said, Indeed, it's very alike. Over here, Lin Sha Guy is also very shocked when he removes the veil covering his face. On the other side, the young master still smiled and said, I can't believe someone who looks exactly like me would appear in this situation. How could this coincidence happen twice? You also seem surprised, don't you? Are you a prisoner? In two days you will be executed, right? Upon seeing him, Lin Sha Gay asked, So, what if I say yes? The fate is truly ironic. Born with the same face, but one person carries the title of a young master, while the other is a death row inmate awaiting execution. I will give you an opportunity that will never come again in your lifetime. Opportunity to become the replacement for Mu Jing Yun, the third young master of Mr. Mu Jun Chong. When Lion Shou Gu heard about this, he thought in amazement, how can this be an opportunity? Over here, Mu Jing Yun still said, there will be nothing difficult. You just need to stay quietly within the compound, delicious food, beautiful girls, and a comfortable bed. All you have to do is enjoy everything that you have not been able to enjoy your entire life. Furthermore, after finishing the work, you will receive the payment and can freely go wherever you want. At that moment, Kang the bodyguard walked over and handed a pill to Lin Sha Ge, saying, If you are thinking about it, just take this. This is a dangerous array. Do you really think that I will trust you completely, a stranger from nowhere? If you complete your role safely, we will give you the antidote. Do you dare to try? Looking at the pill, Lin Shou Guy thought, Grandpa, the second chance for me has come. One more chance to seek revenge for Grandfather. After speaking, he immediately takes the pill. Mu Jing Yun smiled secretly in her heart. After finishing her medicine, Lin Shou Guy smiled and said, Now the young master will give me that opportunity right. You are the one who knows how to think. Now it's time Kang security guard. Now please unlock the dungeon and remove his handcuffs. Yes, sir. The Kang guard immediately performed an acupressure point release for Lion Shou Guy. Then he just broke the handcuffs for me right away. Lion Shou Guy is treated with acupressure point release and immediately stands up comfortably with her wrists relaxed. Now Kang, the bodyguard, went ahead and said, Young master, I will lead the way and you follow behind. All right, you lead the way. Mu Jing Yun also told Lion Shou Guy, Hey, you go first. A moment later, Kang's bodyguard also came out outside. Upon opening the door, the security guard Kang turned around and said, Young master, please follow me. It is very safe here. But when he turned back, he saw that Mu Jing Yun had already been killed by Lin Sha Ge, her neck broken. The facial expression of Lin Sha Guy is very pleased. The goalkeeper Kang immediately became angry. On this side, Lin Sha Guy has thrown Mu Jing Yun down to the ground. And then Lion Shug Day smiled and said, What's wrong? Why are you so surprised? Kang, the bodyguard, is standing there. The imposter pretending to be me is already dead. Return to the days before Lion Shug was captured. You go where you kill. On his hand, 
He holds a sickle and crazily chops the person. In order to avenge my grandfather, I have killed all those who seem to be involved. My feeling when killing dozens of people is truly overwhelming. Lion Shou Gi remembered the advice of her grandfather. Your true nature hides within you. Never ever reveal your true essence to anyone. Okay, returning to the present. Lion Shou Gai is currently thinking coldly in a situation where everyone is confused. I should express what kind of emotion care. Ah, is this really my true essence that my grandfather told me about? Is evil really my nature? Lion Shou Gai also didn't know that. But he understood one thing. Killing those who obstructed him was necessary. Right at that moment, someone jumped up and kicked him. This person is none other than your enemy. He is the one who killed your grandfather. The ghost Lion Shogu was kicked far away by a kick. This name comes to save how many common people. He saw that you were still alive. So he drew his sword and said, You're still alive. That's quite impressive. On this side, Lion Shogu also stood up to look at him. He thought, this person looks very dangerous. The person over there is slowly approaching, smiling and talking. It seems like they might not even know martial arts. But he who can endure one of our blows is truly interesting. Am was speaking while squeezing Lion Shogu's neck and lifting him up. When Lion Shogu was lifted up, he thought in fear. Quick, too quick. He was just so far away. Why is he here now? Could he really be a person? He then continued. I wonder who has the guts to ruin my good things. But I never thought that person would be a kid like you. After saying that, he stabbed Lion Shagu with one strike. This makes him extremely painful. You may not even have learned martial arts, but can withstand a blow from my own hand. There will be no regrets if we kill people right now. In fact, people should not wander around and kill innocent people like that. People like that should only live a quiet life. When Lion Shogu was stabbed, I felt immense pain and thought, it's terrifying. I couldn't even resist. How can this be? Are we going to die here? But in the end, he still lived. But he turned into a prisoner. If given another opportunity, I will not miss it. Returning to the present, Kang the bodyguard rushed forward and grabbed Lion Shu by the collar, saying, Do you dare to lay a hand on the young master? You killed him. Do you want to die too? Kang's bodyguard is not the opposite. Becoming a replacement means accepting risks on behalf of the real person. I'm so excited that I just want to obediently follow you right now. The Kang bodyguard feels the sincerity coming from Lion Shug Guy. He hastily said to him, Have you never thought about the possibility of dying in my hands? I think if you wanted to kill me, you would have done it a long time ago. It seems like you don't have much affection for that young master, right? Please stop messing around. The guard Kang was talking while pushing Lion Shug Guy down to the ground. He then took out a knife from within his body and said to Lion Shug Guy, Today, right here, I will take your life. Upon hearing that, Lin Shu Gu, despite being restrained, still smiled and asked, Do you really have to kill me, sir? Kill me? Why not? I have taken a poisonous pill. I cannot live without an antidote. I have no choice but to follow what you say. I have taken a poisonous pill. I cannot live without an antidote. I have no choice but to follow what you say. Isn't it a good opportunity? Third young master, Mr. Mu Jian Shang, has now become a dog obeying his master's orders. So what you're saying? You want me to betray my master? the one who killed my master, which is you, should now be used as a puppet. The security guard Kang saw, speaking what he thought, Lion Sha Good, just smiled. This also makes goalkeeper Kang have to think. He sighed heavily, then immediately lift the knife and stab downward below. The small knife of the guard Kang has fallen down, but it only stabbed into the ground. One second later, he put the knife away and said to Lion Sha Guy, from now on, you will be Mu Jing Yun. Hearing this, Lion Shou Gai smiled quietly in her heart. A moment later, Kang the bodyguard brought Lion Shou Gu back to the wild Mu Jian Shang. Inside the house, security guard Kang said to Lion Shou Gai, You will never meet the people at Mu Jian Shang. So is it different from the original version? If you choose to be deceitful instead of being the one who sacrifices, then don't be surprised. If you get caught, you will definitely die. At that time, don't think that the loneliness inside you will be relieved by me. Well, I understand now. Additionally, there is one more thing. If you dare to go against my command, I will kill you. After hearing him say that, Lion Shogai also smiled and replied, I understand. At this moment, Kang the bodyguard handed me a pill and said, This is a neutralizing pill from now on. If you don't take this neutralizing pill, after 12 hours, the poison will spread throughout your body. Remember that. After a moment, 
Morning the next day had arrived. Lion Shell Guy is eating a neutralizing pill in the room. He ate and thought to himself. I am still alive despite my stomach and chest being pierced. It's a miracle that this wonderful opportunity has come to a prisoner like me. Isn't it true that Grandpa already told me not to go there? Don't worry, I have no intention of leaving until I get revenge for you. Even the cursed sword bearer thought I was dead. But the body in the prison now belongs to Mu Jing Yun. What martial arts school is this? This is Mu Jian Shang, where I will assume the identity of third young master and practice martial arts here. I must find out the name of the beast that attacked my grandfather. Must make him body rotten and senseless, like the way he treated his grandfather. Day by day, Lin Shao Gi stays in the courtyard, eating and resting at the same time. I miraculously escape death and still have the opportunity to learn martial arts. However, the security guard Kang's name always catches my eye. He is really annoying. Outside stands a guard. His name is Gao Tuan, a soldier of the Kang's bodyguard. Gao Tuan is angrily thinking. Kang, the defender, is really overdoing it. A kid who doesn't know martial arts can't do anything. Gao Tuan remembered the words of Kang the guard. He was surprised and replied to him. You've killed Mu Jing Yun. So what should we do now? The bodyguard Kang immediately told him to keep quiet. If you want the whole village to know, just keep it to yourself. It's fine as long as no one knows. That's your mission here. Pay attention to him. Do not let him leave here. Wait for some more time we will think of another plan. Throw him away. Toss him aside. To switch to someone easier to deal with. Yes, that's right, Mr. Kang. Didn't you say he had already taken the poison? So what if he doesn't listen to me? The reason we chose third young master is because, but he can't use it. He is not the type of person who will obey others' orders. Even though he has been sentenced to death, he even took Mu Jing Yun's life to take over his position. Then he is definitely the kind of person who is willing to do anything to survive. This person is too dangerous. Getting involved with him will bring no benefit to us. After the guard Kang finished speaking, he immediately left, leaving Gao Tuan standing there not understanding anything. Returning to the present, Gao Tuan is still furious thinking, What does this coward have to fear? He has been poisoned and has no martial arts skills. Damn it. I cannot disobey the orders of my superiors. Inside Lion Xia's heart, she heard a noise from outside and thought to herself. The Kane bodyguards also did not state the reason why they needed a representative, but only left a soldier to watch over him before they left. The time spent here has been short, so I have come to understand a little about this place. It's not too dangerous to the point where they need someone to die in exchange. No, it must be said that it is very safe, so they need a representative for other matters. He deliberately did not say he knew. No, he must have the intention to change to someone else. That's right. The time just keeps passing by. Outside, Gao Tuan is soundly asleep. One second later, the demon opened the door and stepped out, making Gao Tuan startled. Upon seeing him, Gao Tuan immediately asked, Do you want to take a bath? No, I just want to breathe in the fresh air for a bit. I also have something to ask. Can you come inside? Shut your mouth and step inside, or else don't blame me for being heavy-handed. You said your name is Gao Tuan, right? If we keep this secret, nothing bad will happen. Gao Tuan saw him standing there talking without entering, so he forced him straight into the door and spoke to him. You have forgotten your position. If you do that, we will not benefit at all so you should go inside. Lion Shogi still stood there watching Gao Tuan. Then he held his hand and said, You are weaker than Defender Kang, aren't you? One second later, Lion Shogi grabbed Gao Tuan and flipped him over, lower him to the ground, causing him to scream in pain. Not finished yet, Lion Shogi also acupuncture point ceiling behind Gao Tuan's back. After the acupuncture point ceiling, Gao Tuan feared, What? I can't move. How is this possible? He sealed my acupuncture points. This scoundrel did the fact that he knew martial arts. On this side, Lion Shell Guy saw Gao Tuan still trying to stand up, so he patted his back and said, Are you able to move? I must have done something wrong. I'm trying to imitate Kane's bodyguard, but it seems not easy at all. In Tode, Gao Tuan once again shuddered and thought, How can he say that? Is he suggesting that just by looking once, someone can easily mimic it? Mr. Kang is right. This name is too dangerous. After thinking for a while, he said to Lin Sha Gai, Have you forgotten that you have been poisoned? The cursed name Lin Sha Gu. Do not forget, if you do not regularly remove the toxic substances, you will gradually die. You don't let go of me, I will. Go to one just said up to here, then was silenced by Lin Sha Gu, not allowing to speak anymore. He bit his own hand, saying, 
It's true that my blood is also poisonous, I forgot. Immediately, An gives Gao Tuan his blood to drink. When Gao Tuan drank blood, he immediately hugged his own neck, trying to draw a sip of Lion Shabgi's blood, and thinking, I have to exert internal energy, or need internal martial arts to force the poison out. At this moment, Lion Shabgu kicked Gao Tuan and said, I have tried hundreds of different poisons since I was young to test herbal medicine for my master, so my blood has gradually turned into poison. Just by smelling or tasting the herbs, we can identify their names, so most poisonous plants have no effect on us, so I don't need an antidote. I want to ask you a question, because only I can understand the unique blood in me. You will definitely need my help. Gao Tuan was made to drink blood. Now he knows he is just a frog, but the one standing in front of him is truly a demon disguised as a human. Move the scene outside. Mu Ren Duan's room. A servant is worriedly saying, Is there really no other way? Then he proved himself at Mu Ren Duan's feet, thinking, I have used all my knowledge and experience, as well as various herbs, but still can't find a way to cure him. Mu Owner Estate. You should transfer the throne. Mu Jian Estate has four young masters, but he did not mention the successor's name when he fell ill, so it can be said that Mu Jian Estate is now just calm before the storm. If he passes away, the young masters will kill each other to obtain the throne. The first wife loves her eldest son dearly. Who knows what she will do to maintain her son's position? At the same time, Tao, the main wife of the estate owner, went in to ask, How are you, sir? The old man saw her and quickly stood up to reply, Madam, please, I apologize. My knowledge is limited so I cannot find a way to treat it. This is a rare disease. Certainly everyone calls it a strange sickness that conventional medicine cannot cure so the only way is to use shamanism. However, madam, using shamanism is a mistake. So we just stand still and watch our husbands die. Right. I don't want to hear it anymore. I will call the shaman to heal it. You can back off now. We will call a shaman to cure me owner estate, so no one else should enter here. Even a ghost is not allowed in. Returning to Gao Tuan's place, he recounted all the events here to Lin Shagye. He also nodded and said, I understand. Then he said to Gao Tuan, all right, now let's go. Where to? So where do you think we should go? Let's quickly head to the Mu Owner Estate. So, what you're saying is, initially, Mu Jing Yun and his guard Kang wanted us to act as bait because the great prince Mu Ying Hao had started to take action and wanted to kill the remaining young masters, right? Yes, the plan is not bad. Great prince Mu Ying Hao, 20 years old, has a scar on his left cheek and is haunted by it, to the point where he only leaves his room once every two days. Of the four people, he is the most incompetent, greedy, and cruel. Second prince, Mu Ying Bing, is 18 years old. He had sharp eyes just like his mother's, intelligent and cunning. He knows what he needs to do to inherit the throne. The original plan of Mu Jing Yun was to call these two people along with himself, have Mu Jing Yun impersonate someone, and go to a certain place, order himself to provoke Mu Ying Bing to kill him. Then, the great prince would stab the second prince in the back and kill him, and those two would kill each other. This plan seemed like waiting for a ready-made meal. If that plan happens, no matter who survives, the act of two brothers killing each other like that will no longer have the right to succeed. Then Mu Jing Yun will appear and take over everything. That person also knows how to use that intelligence. But a big change has occurred. I have killed Mu Jing Yun. Returning to the present, Gao Tuan is saying, but why did the second prince come to Mu Owner Estate? After hearing someone tell the story, I realized that the life and death of Mu Owner Estate is also related to my own life. So that's why I came. But if Kang's bodyguard sees him going out like that, will you keep the secret, right? Thank you so much, Gao Tuan. At this moment, at Madame Ta's place, she is waiting for someone. Below is a person walking towards. A shaman is approaching, saying, So can I go in and check on Mu Owner Estate now? He is a shaman named Mo Then. Madam also responded to him. I heard that Mu Shaman is very skilled, so I will trust you this time. Thank you. The longer the illness lasts, the worse it gets. So please ask the person in the room to leave to avoid risks. We have already sent everyone else away. Only the guards are left to watch over the entrance and exit. All people also need to leave here. Madam. People do not forget what we have commanded, of course, madam. The secret key and stamp of Mu Owner Estate. Correct. If we are found, we will be rewarded with 300 silver coins. Thank you, madam. The conversation between the two people ended. Mrs. Tao ordered the guards. Now everyone leave here, until further notice. Upon entering, she thought to herself, Honestly, 
I don't believe in dark things like the magic of shamans. However, while thinking, she looked in the direction of a young man. She thought to herself, Mu Xiaotian, he is fourth son. Mu Xiaotian, the son of a lowly, insignificant courtesan. I can understand him joking with a geisha. But transferring the throne to such a lowly bloodline is unforgivable. She left angrily from this place. As soon as she left, Lin Xiao Gu followed Gao to one here. Hearing a strange noise, Lin Xiao Gu immediately asked, Is there anyone here? After hearing the question, Gao to one answered, That is the fourth son. He seems to be practicing martial arts. Upon seeing Mu Xiao Tian, Lin Xiao Gu thought, Mu Xiao Tian is knowledgeable in martial arts and always strives to improve. He has a personality similar to the Mu owner estate and therefore receives the most attention. Then Mr. Gao Tuan is practicing martial arts. He is using horse steps to strengthen the lower body, as most martial arts stances come from the lower body. You understand already, Gao Tuan. If I learn martial arts, can I kill Kang's bodyguard? Hearing this statement, Gao Tuan was shocked and said nothing. Why don't you listen to my question? My question is, if I learn martial arts, can I kill Kang's bodyguard? Gao Tuan still did not answer but tensely thought, why suddenly ask this? Couldn't it be that this wretched person has realized that he is about to be abandoned? I know he is intelligent, but he is truly extraordinary. He thought for a moment before replying, young master, the foundation of martial arts relies on cultivation. How to cultivate? Yes, cultivating internal strength in the breath. In other words, it means allowing the external energy to flow naturally throughout the body via using Tugo, which means accumulating internal energy. When the internal energy has been accumulated, one will become stronger. However, internal power is not something that can be formed overnight. Even if he has learned martial arts, it is difficult to defeat a master like Guardian Kane, because he has practiced internal power for more than 30 years, longer than him. Of course, his skills are also outstanding so it's difficult to defeat him in a short amount of time. Right? Yes, sir. At this moment, Gao Tuan finished speaking and chuckled, saying, Even if one practices for their whole life, they still can't do it. There is a special and important period. If one does not practice internal energy cultivation from the age of nine, the leg energy will be lacking. And no matter what one does, it will be difficult to accumulate internal energy. Will I never be able to accumulate internal energy? Understand. Keep going. Even if someone does it, they can only do a little. While Gao Tuan was laughing, Lin Xiao Gu turned back to look at him. He grabbed his face and said, Your eyes look very foolish. I really want to gouge them out. Defender Gao Tuan, now you will be my man. In that moment, Gao Tuan was extremely scared. He quickly said, Now Lin Xiao Gu turned around and thought to herself, So killing Kang's bodyguard is out of the question. Kang's bodyguard doesn't trust me so it's very difficult to persuade him to join our side. At that moment, Gao Tuan also spoke quietly to him. It's best that we leave now. So he asked why. The fourth young master does not like the great prince very much. What has happened then? About two years ago, the great prince had already called the mother of the fourth young master a prostitute. Since then, that day has been full of hatred. Upon hearing this, Lin Shovgi burst into laughter and said, Fourth young master, you are truly noble and virtuous. As your real name still retains its integrity and four characters, right. No matter what, we should go. We will have that conversation if we stay here for a long time. Yes, no, master. They left while the mother was still practicing. Transfer scene to Mu Ren Duan's room. Mr. Mu is wrapping Mu Ren Duan's legs and arms with red ropes. In the middle of Mu Ren Duan's chest, there is a bruise surrounded by purple veins. When Master Mu observed this phenomenon, he believed that these signs were created by the flow of energy, which gently settles the body. He remained intact in this way, truly a martial artist, but it has lasted too long, so the chances of survival are only about 50%. I just need to do my job, without worrying about whether he lives or dies. He is speaking while taking out a pen and preparing to write something on a piece of golden paper. While writing, he also recites, Aspirations towards the Buddha. Do not inhale on non-aspirations days, the attire of all ghosts. I vow to teach them the Dharma and to help them escape from suffering. He cast a spell on Mu Duan's wound. Immediately, there was a stream of power emanating from that place. On this side, Teacher Mu clasped his hands and spoke hardly. Then, standing in front of Mu Duan, he made some kind of bow. He exuded such a powerful aura that he continuously read the spell but it seemed to be no match for the aura emanating from Mu Duan. While performing the ritual, 
He noticed that a red thread had been cut. He immediately panicked and thought, is someone coming in? Is it madam? No, if she's in the middle of changing and interrupts. At the same time, a strong aura emanated from Mu Duan's body. This caused Master Mu to be thrown far away. After he stood up, he saw Lin Sha Gai and Gao Tuan walking in. Gao Tuan saw that Mu Owner Estate was in that state. He was also surprised, while Lin Sha Gu now only knew that the person lying there was Mu Owner Estate. Lin Sha Gu now also ceremoniously said, I would like to consult with my father. It seems Mu Duan also heard, as he lay there groaning for a few moments. On this side, Lin Sha Gai is laughing and saying, I have come to visit my father. The voice of teacher Mu also rang out. Please, quickly go outside. Whether you are his child or someone else, please go outside. He has not heard the orders of the great madam. Gao Tuan, upon hearing him say that, asked, Who are you to be speaking nonsense here? Currently I am suppressing the strange spiritual source in his body. That spiritual source is getting stronger and stronger in his body. Sinister. Could it be? Is he a shaman? Get out quick. If any mistakes happen then, before he could finish speaking, a loud cry of Mu Duan was heard from the other side. If everyone sees that, then they don't understand anything. He is lying on this side looking very painful. One second later, the old man's body was flying up into the air. Teacher Mu quickly told the two, Help me quickly secure the Mu owner estate. Don't let the thread break. Hurry up. Don't ask a lot. He has been possessed by evil spirits. Immediately, Lin Shugai and Gao Tuan jumped and embraced Mu Duan, while the teacher stuck a talisman on Mu Duan's back, thinking, This spiritual talisman will ward off evil spirits, cure the terrible disease, and help rid the body of demons. The new talisman attached to Mu Duan's body makes him even more fiercely resistant. He grabbed Gao Tuan's hand, and then broke his hand. This makes Gao Tuan cry tears. When Mr. Mu saw the old man fiercely resist, he said, this demon is too strong. Then he told everyone to endure it. If evil spirits move, you will also be in danger. After hearing that, Gao Tuan was amazed and said, What devil moves? Why did you only speak now? The demon is approaching close to my hand now. It is coming. At the same time, Lin Shugge rushed forward with a sword. Without any hesitation, An swung his sword down, cutting off Mu Duan's hand. Everyone was horrified by this. Only Lin Shugge remained calm and expressionless. Not finished yet, Lin Sha V's face seemed strange. Gao Tuan asked him, What are you planning to do? The face of Lin Sha Ge suddenly lit up with a smile. Then running to Mu Duan, Gao Tuan quickly told him to wake up, stop immediately. In the blink of an eye, Lin Sha Ge suddenly swung a sword towards Mu Duan. When Gao Tuan saw this scene, he felt terrified and thought, This madman, he has already cut the hand of his. One hand is lying on the ground. The teacher hurriedly took a magic leaf and attached it to it. Meanwhile, Gao Tuan is holding Mu Duan's arm. As for teacher Mu, he is thinking. Big trouble. The plan has failed. Even his hand is cut off. I have to escape before things get worse. I'll just handle a little more and then leave. The old man had barely begun to ponder when a sword was placed against his neck. The man quickly turned back and asked. Young master, what are you doing? Gao Tuan also squeezed in and said to the young master. Then Lin Shoge came out to make him quiet. At this moment, Lin Shoge asked Master Mu, Is it because of you that your condition has worsened? Can you see it yourself? You are being invaded by evil spirits. This is not a simple matter. You could even lose your life. We don't have time. Does he want Mu Owner Estate to die like that too? What are you saying? Do you want something? Are you saying that everyone wants him to die? When Madden led the person here, if the old man was accused by Lin Shoge, he would immediately deny. You are mistaken. My hand is about to be tired. If you are sincere, then you can still keep your life. Upon hearing this, Teacher Mu hesitated and said, Miss Madam said that I don't need to save Mu Owner Estate. Madam said, Let's use the demon to find the secret notebook and stamp of the Mu Owner Estate that is being kept. Listening to the old man say that, Gao Tuan thought, Heavens, to Madam dared to do this kind of thing. It is clearly to help the great prince become the owner of the estate. I have to stop the great prince from becoming the owner of the estate. He thought for a moment, and then said to Lin Sha Gai, Young master, please save him. If not, Madam will target you. Young master, Gao Tuan, what you say is correct, because I hindered her. Now Master Mu also said, Young master, I can save you in every way. I will save. No need. You should do your own work. 
What do you want? Let me know the location of the notebook and stamp that you need to do. Do you understand? Upon hearing this, Gao Tuan and Teacher Mu were both amazed. The Teacher Mu still advises, If you are possessed again, it will impact your life. Quickly follow my words. Gao Tuan over here also does not know what you intend to do. A moment later, Teacher Mu had prepared everything. Upon seeing him take out a stuffed animal, Lin Shugi immediately asked, What is that? He immediately replied, It is a human-shaped spirit. If you are possessed by that demon again, you will definitely lose your life. After I bind it to you, we can deceive that evil spirit. This human-shaped spirit is the Mu owner estate. He started inserting the doll's arm into Mu Duan's arm, then recited a spell. At that moment, Mu Duan immediately cried out in pain. Lin Shell Guy and Gao Tuan are still carefully observing. The mantra continues to resonate endlessly. When Master Mu sensed the overwhelming dark energy, he knew for sure that the dark energy was too powerful. If we try to force it even more, the demon's soul inside will escape. Then he will surely not believe me. What should I do? At this moment, he had a sudden thought in his mind. He chuckled lightly and said to Lin Shab Guy, Young Master Ta has managed to control the demon. But is that person okay here? Gao Tuan also understood his meaning, so he immediately went outside. After Gao Tuan came out, Teacher Mu said, Let's begin. He started to read the incantation again. Ap Siv. As soon as the mantra ended, Mu Duan's body spoke out. Who was calling me? When Master Mu saw this, he said, Spirit, please answer. The voice echoed back. What do you want to ask me? Where are his commandments, seal, and mysteries located? The medicinal hall underground, past the front stone door, is located in an underground chamber beneath the medicinal hall. This sentence is heard by both Lin Sha Guy and Teacher Mu. At that moment, Mu Duan's severed hand grabbed the kite. Immediately, he crushed the deceitful snake. Seeing that, Master Mu turned to Lin Sha Gi and said, Young Master, quickly cut the thread. The demon is trying to devour his body. Hurry up and go. Lion Shou Guy also had no doubt, slashing through the red threads. When I just swung, ghostly hands rushed to grab my foot. Many hands are crawling from the feet and climbing up the body of Lion Shou Guy. At this moment, the Anti-Corruption and Enforcement Bureau has just discovered something unusual. He is looking at Teacher Mu, and he then smiled a sly smile looking at him. Now the hands are crawling on Lion Shou Guy's face. After putting the leaf charm on Lion Shou Guy, Teacher Mu thought to himself, from the beginning, it was already a monster with extremely terrifying aura. The fact that it is breaking out of the seal is only a matter of time, but fortunately it is invading this wretched name, which is not a bad thing. We have completed our mission and also removed the obstacles on the road. It is truly a double accomplishment. We will blame all these issues on others. On the other side inside Lion Shaggy's body, there were angry sounds. How dare you deceive me? The liver deceives us with the image of this fate person. Right, it is unforgivable. Playing with me, are you kidding? Why do you still look so young? I will enter your body, replacing that old man, trapping you forever in your own mind. In Lion Shao Gi's mind right now, she is in a forest. The man stopped and said, This is not the hot spring that I always seek. The birds are singing melodiously. The mountain top is peaceful. I know very well about this place. This is the spring where I come to get water every morning. Even if I try to forget, I can never forget. This is the place I always come to. But today there is something very strange. What is it? What is this discomfort? It seems like I have forgotten something. At that moment, he saw a fire in the distance. Seeing that, he was amazed and thought to himself, that must be our house over there. He hurried back and said, sir. While running, he was worried about his father. When he returned home, he was once again filled with astonishment. In front of him was the body of his grandfather. He hurriedly ran to embrace his grandfather and said, Grandpa, please wake up. It is impossible. It can't be like that. Who dares? Sir, please don't leave me here. Now I realize the significance of my grandfather's presence to me. To what extent? Grandfather is really important to me. At that moment, a black shadow arrived and said, All right, that is the wish of the star. The demon is speaking while wiping his hands towards you. But the evil spirit inside him, flew towards Lin Shavgi's body. It was sneaking into his ears. At that moment, there was a voice saying, Hey, what are you doing sitting there? Would you like to come and help him? Why are you just standing around looking? Upon seeing her grandfather still alive, Lin Shou Guy was amazed and asked, What has happened? After speaking, 
His eyes suddenly turned green. Then he quickly ran to hug his grandfather. Seeing this, his brother asked, Why did this little kid suddenly fall down? In lying Cho Gi's mind, at that moment, she held on to her father and thought, I will not lose you again, because you are the only reason I continue to live when I should have died. Grandfather also hugged him and said, This boy is really strange. And the demon on this side saw it and said, All right, it's him. A precious past. Memories lost in family love. Eternal happiness. On this side, Lion Show Guy is saying, Grandpa, I have something to ask. What is it? Why you put me in charge like that? The demon stood up and grinned, saying, Now you stay by your grandfather forever. Never lose that precious thing again. At this moment, Lion Show Guy's eyes turned back to look at the demon. This made the demon surprised. One second later, he rushed forward to grab the face of the demon. As he squeezed it, he said, Thanks to you, I remember this unpleasant memory. The demon was also astonished to say, It's absurd how you can see me, isn't it? You are really outrageous, daring to play with my late grandfather. But perhaps we have misunderstood something. If the greatest wish is happiness, then you must express it correctly. My wish is not to bring back my grandfather. But it was when they made that gang harm your grandfather that living was worse than death. That is what we desire. Upon hearing him say that, the demon spoke in a horrifying tone. There is something swirling deep within his mind. It is a full of vengeful resentment, not just an ordinary malice. Pure hatred that not even vengeful souls want to commit. This feeling that a normal person can carry within themselves while alive, right? However, something is preventing his intention to kill. What is it? At that moment, Grandfather Lion Show Guy spoke up. Jen Ri, why did you give me the name Jen? The old man wants his special child to grow up to be a good and righteous person, so he named the child Jen accordingly. Just as the name suggests, I hope you will do the right thing and not stray. So from now on, remember to grow up honestly. At that moment, the demon tried to escape from the grasp of Lion Shub Gu and run away. He ran, thinking, This guy is really crazy. I have to go deeper into his human side. Wow, I have successfully entered his body. I must quickly control his consciousness. Transitioning, the demon is stepping into a different space. At this moment, it is wondering, is this a prairie? This is something deeply hidden in this person's mind. Is the door in front of me a star? A sealed door? Could it be that this person's memories are also sealed? But why the door? Well, that job is not important. We have to open this up and delve deep inside. Just occupying it is enough. When a demon tears a spell leaf, suddenly the space wherever becomes haunted. The demon's feet are being sucked in. Seeing this, the demon is horrified and says, can he control me? Stop it. If this continues, we will be killed by that guy. The demon's body is slowly being pulled down. The more days pass, the smaller it gets, being swallowed whole by Lin Shuge. Returning to the present, Lin Shuge opened her eyes with a turn back. His body emits a tremendous amount of energy. This terrifies Master Mu immensely. Lion Show Guy always eats the demon inside him. He is slowly standing up. Where he stands is emitting murderous vibes. And the stream of energy is gradually transforming into a human figure. Lion Show Guy also turned back to look at it. Behind him stood a demonic monk, performing a ritual waiting for his command. Scene changed to somewhere, with a person thinking. Is this okay here? The person is thinking that is the main road of Mu Sword Manor, Zhang Ming Shen. Manor Master Mu Ren Tuan was once a hero when he was young. Everything he did was in the name of Mu Sword Manor. His actions were considered right by everyone. I was fortunate to meet and get to know him 19 years ago during a pirate suppression in Hainan. At that time, I was also a renowned hero in the martial arts world with extraordinary skills, and together we defeated the pirates causing chaos in Hainan. Since then, I have followed him back to Mu Sword Manor and become his disciple under his guidance. I swore to be loyal to him until death. But somehow, the current situation has turned out like this. He recalled the words of Madame Ta, the inner manor master, wondering if handing over the power of Mu Sword Manor to that person was the right thing to do or not. For the future of Mu Sword Manor, I think it's best for everyone to temporarily turn away and wait until that shaman finds the hidden location of the secret manual and seal of Mu Sword Manor. It is out of loyalty to him that I quietly obeyed that request. But deep down I still have many doubts. I don't understand why he is in such a state. Can that shaman do anything? Or are they planning to use some kind of drug to control him? After thinking for a moment, Zhang Ming Shen stood up and exclaimed loudly, Damn it! I can't just sit 
and wait like this anymore. Sitting still and waiting like this doesn't suit my personality. I need to take action to prevent them from harming me. Perhaps I should return to Mu Sword Manor to see what they are planning to do. On the other side, at the sight of Teacher Mu, he was afraid and thought, this demon somehow emits such terrifying power. This must be a high-level demon. At this moment, Lion Shogu smiled and said, Demonic Monk, please kill that shaman for me quickly. When Master Mu saw the demonic monk rushing towards him, he was immediately terrified. The demonic monk threw a punch, and Master Mu immediately used his own strength to block the attack. He was both defending and thinking. It's impossible. How could he command this demon to attack me? This cannot be. These evil spirits are pure souls. They only do what they want. How could they obey the orders of a human? This demon is too evil for anyone to control. At this moment, the demonic monk knocked Master Mu out from behind. After being knocked down, Teacher Mu quickly stood back up. The demonic monk was still looking at him with a pleased smile. The Teacher Mu on this side is trying to run away, but the demonic monk kept advancing slowly towards him, which made him extremely frightened. Just then, the demonic monk let out a loud scream. The hands from inside the demonic monk's body are reaching out. Those hands also quickly reach towards Master Mu. Teacher Mu is currently in a panic, saying, Please save my life, young master, please spare my life this time. Whatever mistakes the young master makes in the future, I will obey. When Lion Xiao Gui heard him say that, he immediately laughed and said, No need. Master Mu still insisted, Young master wants to kill me just because I deceived him, so I hope young master. He had not finished speaking when Lion Xiao Gui interrupted. It's not necessarily like that simply because he already knows about the secret mark and martial arts technique. Knowing too much in this world is not always a good thing, right? Teacher Mu was slowly being swallowed. He was terrified and thought, it turns out that from the beginning he had planned to kill me. He is indeed a monster. A moment later, Lion Shug Gu went outside to call Gao Tuan inside. Gao Tuan walked in and said, Young master, it's over, isn't it? But then he was horrified when he saw the scene in front of him. The body of Mr. Mu, covered in blood, is lying on the ground. He quickly asked the young master, Shaman, has he passed away? Please move this body out of his room. Don't leave it here for any questions in the future. Ah, the reason this shaman's name Daigir is like this. He had just finished speaking when he raised his sword and chopped into the objects in the room. He was possessed by an evil spirit on the Mu owner estate, but his power was not enough to resist it. So he went mad and started swinging his sword wildly he was no longer conscious to defend himself, and in his frenzy, he cut off the hand of the Mew owner estate. I tried to stop him, but it was too late, so I had to put an end to him to prevent further chaos caused by him. After listening to these words from him, Gelb Tuan was completely bewildered. Then he quickly asked the young master, Do you mean to say that the shaman went crazy and caused chaos to cover up this matter? Lion Shippy replied, Do you think there is a problem? After hearing this sentence, Gelb Tuan immediately thought, what he said makes sense, but will those people believe it? As for Madam, she is skeptical. With such a big event like this, she will definitely have to investigate to the end. After thinking, he said, Young Master thinks that no matter what you do, you must be careful and cannot be careless, as any mistake could cost you your life. So where do you think there is still a loophole? Whatever you say, the shaman invited by Ta Madam must be very skilled. Now young master claims that he killed him to prevent him from harming Muoner estate, which sounds reasonable. But Ta Madam is suspicious. How could she trust him so easily, especially in such an important matter? The speaker seems right. We may not have thought thoroughly yet. Perhaps we need to add something more trustworthy to make it better. Let's see. In this case, it seems fine. What do you plan to do, young master? Lion Shogivi used a sword to stab her own leg and laughed, saying, The shaman's name has gone mad cutting off Mu owner estate's hand. I tried to stop him, but with my strength, I was also severely injured by him. However, young master, this matter is a bit. How does this story seem? This time, it seems reliable, right? Seeing Lion Shogdi's actions and calculations, Gao Tu Wen thought in horror, this person is truly insane. But it's also true, with a temperament like Tom Adams, if she didn't go this far, how would she trust this? It's better to die by a sword than to lose one's life. Anyway, looking at it like this, I feel that this despicable person's intentions are too deep, making me feel terrified. Unable to think any further, he quickly went to Lin Shao Gui and said, Let me bandage the wound for the young master. It's not good to leave it like that. 
the more horrifying the better. Hearing this sentence, Gao Tuan became afraid and thought further. Now follow them. I need to be careful to prevent the possibility of dying without knowing the cause. Whatever happens, just follow him. Pay attention not to let him choose me as the target. Just then, someone opened the door from the inside. Upon seeing this scene, Gao Tuan hurriedly said, Inner Manor Lord, why are you here? Zhang Ming Shen was also surprised by the sight before him and asked, What is happening here? The scene that struck him in the eye was Master Mu kneeling before Mu Ren Duan. The man asked angrily, What kind of wretched people are you? What are you trying to do? Do you want to plot against the Mu owner estate or something? Please don't be angry. This is just a misunderstanding. Yes, please stay calm. Line Shug Guy, tired, told him, Whatever it is, he should look into the situation of Mew owner estate first. I have tried. Before finishing his sentence, and fainted. Seeing this, Zhang Ming Shen became even more angry and asked Gao Tuan, What happened here? Why is the shaman lying dead over there? And why is third young master present in this place? Whoever knows anything, speak up quickly. Gao Tuan also hesitantly said, Well, the thing is like this. Just when I was about to tell everything, I quickly realized that that scoundrel was laughing. It seems like he was pretending. This guy is acting. Damn it. The time passes by. A moment later at Medicinal Hall, Lion Shove Goose's thoughts were swirling in her head. Lying gear, smelling the medicinal scent, it makes our spirit feel somewhat relaxed. Fortunately, we were able to find the exact spot to hide the secret recipe that Mu Owner Estate mentioned. It truly is a two-in-one task that both avoids Tum Adam and allows us to come here to investigate. However, no matter what you say, the secret and the seal here cannot be easily found. There are still too many doctors and servants here, so it is best for us to just lie quietly and observe. A moment later, Gao Tuan walked into the room and said, Young master, I have arrived. Seeing him, Lin Shabe asked, Why are you late? Gao Tuan took out two books from the bag. These are the shaman's books. We found what the young master said. All right, thank you, but only found two books. Yes. Madam Ta has arrived there, so everything is difficult to act. Before they take all the belongings of that shaman to destroy, I can only steal these two books secretly. What? Did they burn everything already? Yes. Madam Ta had someone burn all of his books, so there was nothing left. Perhaps she wanted to erase all evidence, thinking this is just normal behavior for her cunning mind. Oh, you understand now. At this time, Lion Shevge was thinking. In the end, there are still two books left the original book of the yin-yang school, and the first tom of Anomaly, a little regretful, but don't know what to do. After thinking, he thanked Gao Tuan, and then asked him, What does it mean when someone looks at me like that? Oh, there is nothing. I just have a little confusion. I don't understand why young master is reading these two books. Does young master understand what is said in them? Am looked out the window to see if there was anything outside. Do you see anything out there? Gao Tuan also went outside to look, but he didn't see anything. But in front of him, there was indeed someone. Oh no, I mean, a demonic monk. That's right. Seeing that person not seeing anything. Lion Shove Gui immediately laughed and said, That is why we need to read this book. Do you understand? So what is the young master's point? At this moment outside, there was a loud voice. No, madam. Madam, the young master has not recovered yet. Please step aside for us. A moment later, Madam Ta also went inside. She asked Lin Xia Gai, Can I talk to you? Lin Xia Gai also looked at her with a cold expression. She didn't see him reply, so she said, Let's talk for a moment. Gao Tuan saw Madame Ta, and he also quickly greeted her. I greet the First Lady. Upon seeing her for the first time, Lin Xia Gai also had to think, I recognize her. She is the woman in the painting. The first wife of the estate owner, from Shijia Zhuang Prefecture, is from a martial arts family, Madame Ta. She is a character that the security guard Kane pays close attention to. She comes from a martial clan as the most skilled master, and she is also a very intelligent woman. He was told to be more careful with the great prince Mu Ying Hao. Interrupting his thoughts, he quickly bowed and said, I greet the first madam. Please excuse the child for not being able to stand up to pay respects due to the wound on his leg. Seeing this situation, Gao Tuan stood by thinking, it's fortunate that he knows how to behave properly. If he continues to behave flexibly like that, nothing bad will happen. Madame Ta now speaks up. I didn't come here to listen to people greet me. After Madame finished speaking, she immediately rushed to hit people. She hit Lin Shugu's wound with one blow. The blood splattered immediately. 
This is also beyond the expectations of Lin Shuge and Gao Tuan. Gao Tuan intended to rush towards the barrier, but was met with a sword pressed against his neck. The bodyguard of Madame Ta is coldly telling him not to move. On this side, Madame Ta is laughing and talking. It seems like someone has really been hurt. You are very brave. They even dare to stab their own foot to prove their innocence. The testimony of the former is quite convincing to the inner manor lord, but there is one thing he doesn't know. A wise shaman will never be possessed by evil spirits. The person said he has gone crazy and run away, right? How dare he deceive me with such blatant lies like that? She scolded him while slapping him and made him fly straight into the wall. Then she asked him again, Quickly tell me what you saw and heard. Below the ground, Lion Show Guy is there, and he has not answered her yet, but he then breaks into a smile. Then he slowly smiled bigger, making louder sounds. Madam, to saw what her husband said. Has he lost his mind? Lion Shogi on this side coldly pointed towards her and said, Demonic monk. The demonic monk immediately ran straight through her. Upon seeing this, he was amazed and said, There must be something that just ran past me. The demonic monk did indeed rush past her, but he is now lifting her servant into the air. When Madame Ta saw this phenomenon, she was horrified, remembering the death of Master Mu. Just then, Lion Shogi approached Madame Ta and said, the secret and the mark are what you want to find, right? If so, madam, please negotiate with me fairly. Don't threaten me like that. Hearing these words from him, madam, Ta was extremely angry. Lion Shou Gai is still saying, I have no intention of competing for the position of Mu owner estate. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. However, it's not just Mu Ying Hao who wants to become Mu owner estate. Should I go find my second brother? I heard the youngest is very skilled in martial arts. Is that true? My father treated me like this. Should I go find my second brother? My relationship with her is not very good now. Would it be better if she gave me some money as compensation to reconcile? She also knows who currently holds the secret right. It's really cold outside. Look, it's so cold that she's shivering. A moment later at Hu Ho Lane where I live, Madam. Madam is packing her belongings angrily, saying. A moment later at Ho I Ho Hall, Madam Ta's residence. Madam Ta is packing her belongings, angrily saying. How dare he? How dare he do that? The bodyguard beside kept advising. Madam Ta, please calm down. Stay calm. You asked me to stay calm. How can I stay calm? When that wretched person has used threats against me, don't you see anything wrong? After finishing speaking, Madam Ta thought to herself, Damn it, I let my guard down again with the most incompetent guy. Thinking that if I scare him, he will tremble in fear and beg for mercy. How did he suddenly change so much? Or to be more precise, he looks like a different person. It's impossible. All this time, it has hidden its true nature. Thinking back, when it was young, it was relatively intelligent. But when its mother passed away, the family on his mother's side went bankrupt. He began to become useless. Perhaps at that time, it pretended to protect itself, no matter how weak it was. I should not be careless like that. At this moment, the bodyguard spoke up. I will definitely kill him from Adam before he can act. If the secret recipe and the mark fall into someone else's hands, it will be a big mess. But I also don't want him to control me like that. Notify the demon spirit thief about the death of the shaman teacher, Mu. Upon hearing the name the Phoenix Pavilion, the guard was startled but still replied, Yes, ma'am. The Phoenix Pavilion is the sect of the shaman master, Mu. Madame Tell laughed and said, Mu Jing Yun, I will not grant your wish. Now it's midnight at the medicinal hall. Midnight at the Medicinal Hall. The voice of Lion Shao God is echoing. Original book of the Yin Yang School. When a dead person turns into an evil spirit due to their unresolved resentment, its strength depends on many conditions. A yellow spirit can actually kill a person. At that moment, the demonic monk emerged from the void. Upon seeing him, I immediately asked, Have you found it yet? I guess the demonic monk is a yellow spirit then. Can the demonic monk find the door to the basement or pass through this wall? Earlier, the power of the demonic monk had no effect on Madame Ta. Madame Ta stood in front of the demonic monk, so the demonic monk rushed towards the servant standing behind her. I have tried to make it attack Gao Tuan, and it still works. At this moment, he opened the secret room. As he walked in, he thought to himself. He said Madame Ta is the most skilled master so she probably wouldn't be effective against Kang, a bodyguard at the same level as her. So owning a stronger devil is not a bad idea, right? The green spirit, a vengeful soul that has existed for many decades, 
can influence everything around it and cause hallucinations to other creatures. The green spirit demon is very dangerous and needs to be controlled. He decides that he must have subordinates of the green spirit rank. So should I go in there now? Let's find the clue and the secret recipe, shall we? He slowly steps inside and starts to think. The deep pit is real. My grandfather had it built as deep as this to hide the secret recipe and the replica seal. Now I understand how valuable those things are, so they tried every way to get it. I will definitely not let it fall into their hands. The power of the demonic monk has no effect on Kang the Guardian. I need something stronger to deal with him. A moment later, he arrived at the end of the road. In front of him was a gate. He then immediately opened that door. Upon entering, he thought to himself, Below the medicinal hall, there are four stone doors behind. He also went to open a door. Inside, I can't see anything. And you say to yourself, Maybe I have to go deeper inside. But is it necessary to go in? At this moment, one of his feet stepped on a trap. Immediately from above, a rock slab plunges down below. Lion Shug Guy also quickly jumped up to avoid. This made him realize that this place had a trap. At this moment, there are lights rushing towards us. One second later, there were three arrows shot out, but he managed to dodge them. Other arrows he used a lantern to knock them away. But this time, an arrow is heading straight towards him. This arrow, he used a lantern to block it, but the deadly weapons continued to rush out. Lion Shell Goo dodged and thought, a secret deep in a cave full of traps. Is that scroll really worth it? Or is there something else here? Something even more valuable than those two items. The traps are still springing. However, Lion Shell Guy saw something. He avoided all the traps to get there. After a while, he was standing in front of what he was looking for. At this point, he thought. He didn't expect to find a place entirely made of wood like this underground. Moreover, everything was very orderly. Just like someone is living here. Could there be someone practicing cultivation here? But even if there is, it doesn't matter at this time. At this moment, in front of him is a wooden box. He immediately opens it. When opened, there were two books, Adamant Resolve and Woodhurt Sword Transformation Technique. Seeing them, he remembered the words of Gao Tuan. According to Gao Tuan, the manual is divided into two parts, a sword technique and a cultivation technique. I will take both books then. After getting two books, he was planning to leave. But then, he had a question. Why did he have to build such a large room just to store these two secret books? It was really strange. What is that? It seems quite heavy and has no function at all. And there are some drag marks on the floor. So let's try to see if there's something inside. After pushing Lion Shuga out, I immediately knew what to do. There are still a few leaves on the floor. He also immediately opened that floor to see how it was. Below is a wooden box that catches my eye. This box has also been sealed with a spell. There is a strange energy radiating from it. Sometimes, what he wants to hide is not the secret book. After Lion Shogu uncovered the talisman, the light immediately went out. This also surprised him. At this time, the space has fallen into darkness. Now Lion Shogu takes out the thing inside the box and says, Inside the small wooden box is a book with a leather cover. So it's not an ordinary book. It emits a nauseating smell and has patterns on it. It is made from human skin. On one side, Another person is shouting loudly, hit harder for me. The harder you hit, the more energetic. Very good at playing, excellent. The person speaking is young master Mu Ying Bing. He is still smiling and saying, Mu Jian estate looks much brighter today. Surely it's because I am getting closer to the position of manor master. Thank you for coming back to my side, Kang Bodyguard. Kang Bodyguard is also entering the ceremony now saying, I apologize for keeping you up so late. Second young master, upon hearing the news of the talented guard that I have always been looking forward to meeting, I really wanted to host a bigger party to entertain. But my father is still bedridden. It's not necessary. I am very grateful for the warm welcome from the young master. Well then, please come in. Yes, young master. Upon entering, Mu Ying Bing said, So the person said that Mu Jing Yun has lost her martial arts skills now, right? The Kang guard thought to himself, when he heard him speak like that. Indeed, the real person has died. The imposter currently has no martial arts skills. That is truly not a lie. But I have no intention of revealing that Jing Yun is now an imposter. If everyone knows that I couldn't protect the master, then I will be in danger. And that fake name also knows the consequences. That's why they dare to make demands to me. But I will not let everything happen according to their will. He thought for a moment, and then said, That's right, young master. Young Master Mu Jing Yun currently doesn't know any martial arts. 
I will offer my head to prove my loyalty to young master. Mu Yingbing listened and then laughed. That foolish name. He had no talent or skills from the beginning. Now he even lost his martial arts. If he defeats me, it would truly be absurd. Thanks to you, I have learned some useful information. So should I thank you for that? Right, can you tell me why he lost his martial arts skills? If it's your mistake, I'll overlook it. Everyone makes mistakes in this world. I'm sorry. I can't tell the young master now. If the truth is revealed, I will also die. Don't worry. Even if you don't know the reason, nothing will happen to my plan. Okay, okay, I trust you. Kang the guard. Because he is Kang, the bodyguard, and a former assassin from there. Hearing this sentence made Kang, the bodyguard, astonished. Seeing Kang, the guard's expression like that, Mu Ying Bing immediately asked what's wrong. The Kang guard did not answer but thought. He still thinks he is a child, but he is very cunning. He has been following me. Now Mu Ying Bing still said, It can't be. Is that really a secret of yours? Kang, the former bodyguard, also hesitantly said, It's not. I have become too careless with him. All right, you go. Whatever it is, I will call you later. The guard Kang also left immediately. Upon seeing him leave, Mu Ying Bing smiled and said, He still had something hidden from me. There is a secret about Mu Jing Yun. Please go investigate for me. What is that name hiding? Has that name really lost its martial arts skills? The person ranked as the best will surely be able to do this. Right? I just want to check. That's all. Right? No. Then it's not fun at all. Have his dog bite one side of my leg for me. The other person heard his command and immediately obeyed. Return to the place where Line Show Guy was. Am was holding a book and thinking. The feeling of pain on the cover is real. Something that I can feel through my fingertips is not just imagination. But the irony is, this is not a living thing. This feeling is like the heartbeat of a dying person. Why is an item like this lying here? I am very curious. I want to unravel the string of beads right now to check what is hidden inside. At this moment, a sinister aura emerges. A black shadow appears. He is the demonic monk. When the demonic monk arrived at Lion Shagu, he immediately asked him, What's the matter? The demonic monk did not answer, but his eyes suddenly flashed golden. The demonic monk is behaving very strangely. This also astonishes Lion Shagai. It's unbelievable. The demonic monk reacts like that. Certainly, there is something hidden in this book. But if the demonic monk from Gao Tuan's place comes here to be vigilant for himself, then surely someone is approaching my room. That means there is an intruder. Lion Sha immediately ran back to her room. Outside, there is an assassin heading towards the medicinal hall. He is standing on a tree trunk. Then he sees Gao Tuan standing guard. He jumps and thinks, why is he just standing outside without protecting his injured owner? So what secret is the young master really doing? The assassin immediately looked into the room. He saw Lion Shogo lying on the bed. This name also immediately brings to mind the thought. He is sleeping. So why would he order Gao Tuan to stand outside? First, we must check if there is anything suspicious inside. He had just entered when he was amazed. He picked up a book and then asked himself, What is this? He quickly flipped through each page to see. He read with astonishment. Indeed, there must be a secret. How could this person... But never mind that, with this item in hand, the owner will occupy the highest position. My young master will win. He is lost in thought and doesn't realize that Lion Sha Guy is standing behind him. Immediately, he grabbed his head and slammed it directly down onto the table. Then he laughed and said to him, What are you doing in my bedroom, still not sleeping at this hour? Well then, let me help you sleep. I am so kind, right? This assassin was terrified when he was hit, thinking, This person is truly terrifying. He was knocked out by Lion Shao Gai. A moment later, he also woke up. Upon waking up, Lion Shao Gai smiled and said, Oh, you're awake now. The person over there is being caught and hung dangling. He asked Lion Shao Gai, Where am I right now? Lion Shao Gai then took out a knife, causing him to be extremely scared. He laughed and said, Quickly spill everything out. A few minutes ago, that person was beaten and his mouth was bleeding. At the same time, Gao Tuan opened the door and said, Zhang Yishang, do you know this person? He is Zhang Yishang, one of the close guards of the young master, the second son. But why is he looking for me? I also don't know. I can't guess. But if he wears a mask like this to infiltrate here, then surely he has no good intentions. Then let him know that he is free to go. Young master intended to torture him, but it's not allowed. It's probably better to let him go. Young master is known for valuing talents. 
If he finds out his bodyguard is injured then, well, let me consider it. After An finished speaking, he carried Zhang Yishang away. But on the other side, Gao Tuan still tried to say, Don't hesitate anymore, young master. It's very dangerous, young master. Damn it, I warned you beforehand. But as I said before, I don't think the young master will go as far as to kill him after all. The young master is also a smart person, even in the eyes of the manor master. But I don't think the young master will kill him right. Returning to the present, Zhang Yishang is saying, Let me go. Upon seeing that, Lin Shage asked him again, Why do you think that I am someone that everyone knows? I came here because of the order from young master Mu Yingbing. If you harm me, you won't have peace either. So don't let both sides get more tired. Obediently give me the secret technique. Just give it to me. I will go back and tell young master Yinbing and spare you. After he finished speaking, he smiled and thought, trying to threaten me and make me reveal our plan. Dream on. Lion Show Guy saw him speak like that. He smiled and said he was very interesting. It seems that the second son values his subordinates very much. It is true. Being treated badly, but still trusting the second son like this. Sure, let me untie you. It has to be like that. A very wise choice. I will speak well of you two. He hasn't finished speaking yet. When he feels something strange, his arm now only has nine fingers. Lion Shogi on this side is laughing, saying to him, Now this finger belongs to me. Zhang Yishang, missing a finger, thinks, He cut off my finger. But why can't I feel anything at all? Moreover, I can't move or sense any internal energy. He was thinking when Lin Shogui said it's a paralysis poison. Stupid. I have combined medicinal at the pharmacy in one to two hours. Your body from the throat down will not feel anything. Now I will ask you a few questions. If you don't answer immediately, I will cut off one of your fingers for every second that passes. The first question. Why did the second son send you to my place? Start counting time now. Zhang Yi hurriedly said wait, but he lost another finger. Lion Sha Gai saw that he did not reply. So she took out her knife and said, Still not going to answer, huh? Then let's continue. You wretched person, won't you stop for me? That's enough. Please stop your hand. The wretched name still doesn't stop for me. That's enough. I said, please stop right now. Come on, it's up to the index finger now. So speak quickly. Zhang Yi Shang hurriedly said loudly, It is a favor from the young master to ask me to come and check whether third young master has truly lost his martial arts skills or not. Hearing the answer, Lin Shou Gai also stopped her hand. Zhang Yi Shang also took a few minutes to catch his breath. Lin Shou Gai is calculating. Lost martial arts skills. Oh, he can also change boats quickly. The next sentence, Kang the guard said that, is that correct? Yes, he also knows how to play mind games. I didn't expect him to be around the bush, like this, instead of telling the truth. Upon hearing Lion Shagu's words, Zhang Yi Shang was shocked and thought, What is this? In such a short time, he has realized that he is being betrayed by Kang's bodyguard. How can he be so intelligent? Or did he suspect Kang's bodyguard from the beginning? Or is Kang's bodyguard a spy? No, if that's the case, why would he need to torture me? At this moment, Lion Shagu coldly said, now there are no more questions to ask. So what should I do now? Hearing this, Zhang Yishang's face turned pale with horror. Because at this moment, in front of him, Lin Shou Gai was no different than a grin reaper ready to close his book. He also quickly cleverly said, Belongs. This made Lin Shou Gai pause for a moment. Zhang Yishang's voice still echoed. I swear to be loyal to the young master. I really didn't expect third young master to be as intelligent and bright as this. Young Master is truly the one who is suitable for the position of Manor Master of Mu Sword Manor. Please give me a chance to choose the right path for the future of Mu Sword Manor. I will sacrifice my life for the Young Master, so I beg for mercy. I will do anything, so please forgive me, Young Master. I'm done. I have something to do. Can I hand it over to someone right away? Zhang Yi Shang heard him say that. He thought he could live now. He quickly said, of course, as long as Young Master gives the order. But what is that about? He was happily enjoying himself when Lin Shogiri stabbed him straight in the neck with a knife. This blow took his life as well. Ma Lin Shogu laughed and said, Are you really willing to sacrifice your life for me? Then let me borrow a little blood. You are truly foolish, offering your life to me in this way. But I like it the most. After killing him, he took the book from the secret chamber and said to himself, Using only force, I cannot remove this gemstone. As I predicted, 
I think this is a seal mentioned in the original book of the Yin Yang school. According to the book, a seal for something evil is full of pure K. However, that power will gradually weaken if there is another unjust thing pressing down. The blood full of resentment of Zhang Yishang, when he had to die unjustly, will wet the book and seep deep into the pages. This makes the injustice complete. Right now the seed shell is showing signs of cracking. In a moment, that seed shell has been broken. Lion Shogai also realized that what she did had an effect. But at this moment, the blood from it was rushing to his feet. One second later, a lot of blood shot out. Zhang Yixiang's blood was boiling. It shot straight up into the air. The room that Lion Shogai is in is all covered in blood. The scene in front of her is astonishing. Those drops of blood are coming together. A figure is gradually taking shape, and light emitted causing Lion Shogai to shield her eyes. After opening his eyes, he found himself in a different world. In front of me, there is a girl walking towards me. This girl is wearing a full-body red outfit. The cold and mysterious face radiates a sense of mystery. When Lion Shogai saw this demon, he was amazed and thought it was not a green spirit. It is the fifth status of ghosts mentioned in the Yin Yang School of Thought, an azure ghost. I am still wondering if I will get the green spirit or not, unexpectedly. It turns out to be lucky. He had not finished his thoughts when a force pulled him down. Drops of blood were dragging him down to the ground. The azure ghost on this side now also speaks. Foolish humans, let us cleanse the souls and offer them up to us. When Lion Shogui heard her say that, he was not afraid but thought. Level 5 azure ghost, a vengeful spirit that has been around for over 100 years. It can have a great impact on people and things within a certain distance. Even more. It can even cause hallucinations or pain to others. And to control it, at least 10 shamans are required. It is an extremely dangerous creature. The Adger ghost over here is still standing there, smoking a cigarette. Then she said to Lion Shug Guy, Why haven't you purified the soul yet? It seems like you also have a lot of dreams. Lion Shug Guy is not afraid either. He even thinks that a little danger is very interesting. Upon seeing him smile, Azure Ghost immediately asked, What's up? The voice of Lion Shell Guy echoed. Whether they were low ranking or high ranking evil spirits, they all craved the bodies of others. I can only find it amusing to see their ugly appearance. It seems that all souls cannot do anything without the body of a human. Therefore, they desire my body so much, so let them try to take it by the power of humans. Adger Ghost immediately used its power to shoot a blood beam at Lion Shell Guy. This blood beam shattered one of Lion Shell Guy's ribs causing him to lose balance. But then, Azure Ghost continued to wave his hand. A stream of power also emanated from it. This time, a piece of Lion Shavi's face skin was peeled off. After two strikes, Azure Ghost laughed and said, Now people have seen my strength, haven't they? Useless humans. Can't do anything but stand there and take my blows. So please obediently offer your soul to me. As soon as her words ended, Lion Shavi's body also froze. This also surprised Azure Ghost. On this side, Lion Shell Guy is holding the wound standing there. Seeing him still standing in front of me, Adger Ghost thought, can he still endure? His face is split in half, his skin and flesh have been blown away. Then she said, you are indeed extraordinary, but not important. She used her strength to hit him and smash into a nearby pole. After finishing those things, she walked up to where he was and said, all right, I have a proposal. If you obediently offer your soul to me, then I will fulfill a request of yours. Request? Why did the person make that proposal to me? Because I care about you. If you keep pressuring you like this, I won't benefit at all. Because your soul will be hurt. So what if I refuse? In that case, I have to kill you and find another soul. After a moment of silence, Lion Shell Guy then said, I have a wish. Seeing him speak like that, Azure Ghost happily asked, What is it? Speak quickly. You must have so much poison like this that you can't live a normal life, right? Has anyone betrayed you? Has anyone killed your loved ones? Speak quickly. No matter who it is, we will find out. Even his soul will not be spared. Lion Shogai also coldly said, My wish is for people to shut their mouths and obediently become my subordinates. This statement angered Azure Ghost. She stood up, her blood boiling, saying, You must endure this, you foolish human. Immediately, drops of blood rushed towards Lion Shogai. One second later, his body was engulfed in a sea of blood. The voice of Azure Ghost was still asking, can he endure the extreme pain of having all four limbs severed? Unfortunately, the meat is torn apart and the bones are shattered. It is truly regrettable when the soul is damaged. In Lion Shagdu's mind, 
she is thinking. At this moment, with my senses of touch, sight, and taste, this is indeed blood. But it's a bit different. When I was still lying shagya, I had tasted countless flavors of blood. What did the taste of blood feel like back then? The trembling of life, heat, and warmth. That is the fake blood. However, what I feel at this moment is something like human blood. The opening of his eyes astonished Azure Ghost. Lin Shogui still thinks that all of this is just an illusion. The space gradually cracks, until at one point it shatters, causing Azure Ghost to be countered and defeated. Lin Shogui is still standing in front of Azure Ghost. Meanwhile, Azure Ghost is standing there, looking at him in astonishment. At this moment, she transformed into a butterfly and threw it towards Lin Shogui. The butterfly slowly flew towards me. As soon as it got closer, it exploded immediately, which also surprised Azure Ghost. I think it's just a cold, right? Treating the cold is shamanism denies what oneself is perceiving and completely escapes from the illusions deceiving the five senses. In theory, it sounds easy, but in reality, denying it is very difficult, even for a skilled shaman. He might not even be a shaman, so how could... Could it be that the shamanic organization within him is so large? At this moment, Lime Shogdi burst into laughter. Seeing him smile, the Azure Ghost angrily asked, Why are you smiling? Do you think escaping illusions means you can escape me? Lime Shogai also quickly replied, No, I just find it interesting. That's all. What's interesting? Then she immediately was stunned because in Lime Shogdi's hand was holding a book. Lime Shogai is thinking, According to the yin-yang school of thought, the more ancient a monstrosity is, the higher the chances it has a vessel it resides in and is connected to. Because the book is the intermediary, he both thought and bit that book. This bite caused Azure Ghost's body to freeze. Then she immediately screamed in pain. Seeing her in pain, Lin Shogu knew she had guessed correctly. On this side, Azure Ghost is cursing Lin Shogai, a wretched name. Then my sister thinks again. Impossible. That book is full of resentment. No one can directly harm it. Therefore, the most skilled shamans had to seal it again. So why did he do that? She no longer hesitated, rushed to grab his collar, and said, You have made me angry. Do you still think this is an illusion? Now we don't need your soul anymore. You die. I have granted you a favor, but you denied it. Blame yourself for your own foolishness. Now die for me. Despite being threatened, Lin Shao Gu continued to chew on the book and then said with a smile, How strange. Why didn't you snatch this book back? Are you not faster? Of course you can't touch it. Can you? So I will. Lin Shogi was eating and laughing, which terrified Azure Ghost immensely. She angrily told Lin Sha to quickly let go of me. On the other side, Lin Sha Gi, who was being strangled, suddenly thought, The blood flowing into my body just now has spread throughout my body. The blood is flowing against the current and penetrating through my whole body. My whole body seems to be appearing with cracks. This feeling is like the first time I ingested poison. But what I feel stronger than the pain is the resentment of the unjust soul. The strong resentment towards someone like me. At this moment, the Azure Ghost is screaming loudly. She is cursing Lin Shao Gai. This crazy person. A squeeze to the neck, causing Lin Shao Gai to vomit blood immediately. The eyes of the two people look at each other. Lin Shao Givi immediately entered the world of Azure Ghost. He wondered where this place was. Here are many corpses, and a tired girl is sitting not far from him. I see this girl is amazing. Do you think she's not an Azure Ghost level? At this moment, the Azure Ghost is biting its own clothes and wrapping the handle of the Sword of Tankim around its hand. Then she just aimed the sword at the person in front and said something. These words Lin Shagu cannot hear, but I can feel her anger. The person sitting high up looks down and, and smiles. The Azure Ghost immediately rushed forward to strike him. She had not done anything to him, but he had already stabbed his hand straight into her. He ruthlessly pulled something out from inside her. That was her heart. Then he hit her, causing her to fly straight down below. At the same time, many people came out from nowhere. They walked towards the Azure Ghost place. They are surrounding her. They start pulling out knives. They stab directly down. Azure Ghost lies there vomiting blood, tears streaming down. They stabbed her until her flesh and bones were crushed, leaving only a bundle of hair. Her skin, they turned into a book. Right at this moment, Lion Shogi woke up. He didn't understand what was happening. What is that red thread for? At the same time, the voice of Azure Ghost echoed. Have I become his subordinate already? Upon seeing this, Lion Shogi thought to himself, 
Finally, there is a high-level Azure Ghost, but Azure Ghost cannot accept that. She rushed forward to grab Lean Shabgu's neck and said, Quickly end this for me. She squeezed his neck and felt the same happening to herself. Feeling too annoyed, she let go of him and said, Damn it. As for Lion Shabgu, he doesn't seem to be affected at all. I think the subordinate and owner of it will share the same painful feeling. So how about the demonic monk? In the incident just now, I felt like I had just died and come back to life. A minute ago, the demonic monk stood outside crying, unable to do anything. Inside, Mu Jing Yun spoke up. It seems like we are bound together now, so let's help each other. My name is Mu Jing Yun. What about you? How should I address you? So call whatever you want. So call it Hong Lo Jia Chong, meaning Red Dung Beetle. Hearing these words, Azure Ghost angrily turned back and said, Do you want to die? It seems like she doesn't like that name very much, right? You dare to tease me. If she doesn't like it, tell me her name. Why should I bother to tell my name to a mediocre human like you? There is no other way. I have to find a suitable name for her. If the level of this hidden soul is Azure Ghost, then I will name her Azure Ghost. From now on, I will call her Azure Ghost. Despite giving her a name, she still acts indifferent. Seeing this, Mu Jing Yun sighed and thought to herself, So arrogant, but I can't use force to tame her. I can't get her to help me with her strength, so I have to gradually persuade her. At this moment, he asked again, Hey, do you know what's inside this human skin book? Azure Ghost, who is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm busy. Don't talk to me. Mu Jing Yun didn't bother to ask. He immediately opened the book to read. He was surprised to find that the words in the book were all written in blood. Seeing that, he thought, the cover is made of leather, the writing is in blood, I don't know who created it, but it's really interesting. But here are all ancient fonts. What do they mean after all? On the other side, Azure Ghost is looking at him, and then smiles. Mu Jing Yun also notices her, thinking, it seems like she doesn't want to say she knows. If you want to know, go find out for yourself. Is that so? Mu Jing Yun also focused on observing. Now he spoke up. I am extremely desperate to rely on someone else's mind. Before fading into nothingness, I must possess the physical body. That seems impossible. Mu Jing Yun read these words, causing Azure Ghost to be slightly surprised. At this moment, there were also strands of power surrounding his body. Yet he still stood there reading. Demons always obstruct the path of good deeds, but it has the power to reverse everything. The book is stuck tightly in my hand. On this side, Azure Ghost is saying something impossible. She is very surprised that Mu Jing Yun can do that. Seeing her like that, Mu Jing Yun immediately asked, What have I done? Is it because the book did it on its own? Suddenly, there was a transformation happening. Azure Ghost saw the black smoke and thought to herself, This is not good. She quickly told Mu Jing Yun, Hold your breath. Let your mind be clear and don't think about anything. He immediately followed her instructions, but the book is still tightly holding onto his hand. One second later, it slowly slipped out of his hands. This also amazed Azure Ghost because of the speed being too fast. Currently, she sees the book falling out of Mu Jing Yun's hands. She is also standing there thinking that he has solved that mystery. A person who doesn't know martial arts can do that. No. What's even stranger is that he has discovered the content containing that ritual. Only the soul of the deceased can see that content. How can a living person like him? A moment later, Mu Jing Yun gasped and said, Suddenly I feel like I can't breathe, like I'm about to die. Why is this happening? Because you did not perform the breathing ritual correctly, you breathe incorrectly. Upon hearing her speak, Mu Jing Yun smiled and replied, So now you're explaining it to me, huh? This statement made Azure Ghost extremely angry. She scolded him. I only said that so that a fool like him wouldn't cause trouble for me. Okay, okay. So what's that containing the ritual? As its name suggests, when you inhale something, it will stick to you. You can control something by your will. The force is pulling something towards me. But why does my stomach hurt and my blood vessels constrict? It's because I tried to suck something in. But besides the book, there's nothing there. I tried to control the flow of energy, but couldn't draw anything in, so the energy became chaotic. Now I'll try to suck something in and see. Mu Jing Yun turned to look at Zhang Yisheng's corpse. He ran over, picked him up and asked, Is he okay? Yes. Now go suck the energy core. His energy will flow out because he's dead, so the energy core is under the well, right? What is it that you still have to ask me? Mu Jing Yun immediately responded, 
All right, I'll do it right here. Now, as your ghost told him. Now please read the content you just mentioned. Mu Jing Yun immediately placed her hand on Zhang Yishang's stomach and thought, I am sinking into despair, having to rely on someone else's mind. Before fading into nothingness, I must seize control of the body, which seems impossible. Demons always obstruct all good things, but they also have the power to reverse everything. As soon as the words were spoken, Mu Jing Yun's hand underwent a transformation. This made Mu Jing Yun completely bewildered. He thought, a warm sensation had passed through his bloodstream, flowed into the palm of his hand, and then circled around his energy core. Now, as your ghost also speaks up, you can absorb anything into your body, and air is no exception. Have you felt it now? That's how to perform containment rituals. Next to Mu Jing Yun, I am also thinking. A warm air stream is enveloping my stomach, isn't it what Gao Tuan mentioned before? Gao Tuan said that Qi can only be accumulated over a long period of time but I am able to acquire Kai in a short period by absorbing the internal energy of others. That means I can be stronger now. He just grabbed a handle when the gases next to him all flew away. He hurriedly asked as your ghost. When the gas is gone, she said that it was natural. The nature of gas is to disperse. So you must gather them together using a special method to gather the energy. That way the energy can concentrate at the energy core without dissipating. The emitted gas collected in that way will have special characteristics and cannot be mixed with the gas of others. That means using that content first to collect gas is completely impossible. I'm really sorry. I thought I could gather spiritual energy faster. Do you think becoming a master is easy? But don't be disappointed. Just knowing how to use it is enough. The first ritual, the ritual of attachment, is just the basics. But once mastered, you can use many amazing techniques. Assuming that the gas released earlier, gas is gas. You try to focus the gas from earlier on your hand by circulating qi. Upon hearing her say that, Mu Jing Yun asked, What is qi circulation? It's frustrating. Just use your imagination then. So what is imagination? Qi circulation is all about chance. All the call to mind images in your head. If you can do it, you can gather energy with your hands. After saying this, as your ghost thought to herself, it sounds easy to say, but in reality, this is impossible. Because if a person cannot grasp the basics, they cannot circulate ke. It's a pity for that energy, but we'll have to try again next time. On this side, Mu Jing Yun also followed suit. After a while, there was a gathering of energy in his hand, and he also directly grasped the hand back. This makes Azure Ghost amazed. On the other side, Mu Jing Yun was holding the flow of energy in his hand, and then punched straight into the pillar. This punch caused the pillar to break immediately. Seeing this power, Azure Ghost was horrified and thought, impossible. He knew nothing about martial arts, but could also circulate key. Who is he really? In my past life, I have met countless talented people, but I have never seen anyone as sharp as him. Where did this guy come from? At this moment, Mu Jing Yun is smiling and saying, so this is the reason why everyone learns martial arts. If I can master this, I can easily kill people. Seeing him say these words, Adger Ghost thought, he may see through the essence of martial arts. Training the soul and mind through martial arts is all just bullshit because ultimately the nature of martial arts is still to kill the opponent most effectively. At this moment, Mu Jing Yun asked Adger Ghost, so what is the second technique? Adger Ghost also wanted to say something, but she remembered something and stopped. Ha, she said, tell me, tell me. In a little while, I will be called a despicable name like you deceived me. Do you think I will tell you? When she said that, she immediately became angry and thought to herself, Damn it, I have unconsciously been drawn to him for I don't know how long. And now I understand why the old geezers often scold their disciples. At this moment, Mu Jing Yun called Azure Ghost again, but she told him not to talk to her anymore. Not receiving a response, Mu Jing Yun thought, Absolutely, it's amazing. I have arrived here already, but I still have a question to ask her. Why did she say that the nature of gas is dispersal? So what is the cold and lonely remnant left here? Should I ask her? Forget it. If you ask her now, she won't answer either. It's more fun to find it myself. After thinking, he said to Azure Ghost, Let's go. On the other side is cold and dark. This place is the Phoenix Pavilion. The bodyguard Huang of Madame Ta has arrived here. She slowly walked into the room. As soon as she entered, she saw strange statues. The heads of the figures were sealed, but the faces of the Buddhas were eerie. Huang, she was standing in the middle of the room. 
Right now, she was feeling scared and anxious. This thing is a wooden statue. Why is there so much stuff in the room that makes others feel uncomfortable like this? Ah. At this moment, a fire was lit. Seeing this, she raised her voice and said, We have sent a letter so I'm sure you all know already. The shaman Nuv has died. He was killed by the third son, young master Mu Jing Yun. This is Tom Madam's expression of grief. 300 silver. She is offering 400 more if you will take on another quest from us. The quest is to eliminate the third young master. Will you do it? She said those words but didn't receive any response. Suddenly, the candle flame went out. The woman then bowed and said, So I entrust everything to you. She immediately left this place. Just coming out, she was angry and thought, Wef, clearly there is no one there. But why do I feel the presence of many people watching me? It's really creepy. If it weren't for coming here to entrust, then I would never set foot in this place. At this moment, inside, the body of Master Mu is lying in the middle of the temple. One second later, the scepter's power resounded, accompanied by voices. Surely that is the murderer, yes sir. The maid was floating in the air, so it was definitely a yellow spirit. Perhaps it has taken over the body of third young master. The question here is, can evil spirits become a part of the mind? Absolutely not. Except for the good souls of animals or delusional souls, unjust souls cannot turn into shikigami. But if possible, it is very dangerous. Perhaps if it was a beast of pure spirit of a yoka, there is no way to take a resentful spirit as a familiar spirit. But if possible, it is very dangerous. Conclusion One of them came to remove the third young master of Mu Sword Manor and comfort the soul of Master Mu. They obey this person's words and follow orders. The next morning in Mu Sword Manor, Gao Tuan is yawning. He was babbling. What a wretched person. He made me watch over all night. I just closed my eyes for a moment. And then he accused me again. I brought the brazier here. You've worked hard, telling others what to do and still know how to speak politely. The brazier is also lit up. Gao Tuan at this moment asked Mu Jing Yun, Why does the young master need the brazier? Because there is something to burn. What needs to be burned? Could it be true? That's right. The secret of Mu Sword Manor. But why did the young master burn that secret? Seeing Mu Jing Yun tearing each sheet into the brazier, Gao Tuan's intestines. He was cursing silently at Mu Jing Yun. This crazy guy, he burned the entire secret technique. At the moment, Mu Jing Yun is working on this, looking very interested. Just then, Gao Tuan asked Mu Jing Yun, What are you planning to do? Don't young master, why would my brother burn them? He may not know martial arts, but he will definitely use it. There are many people craving for that secret manual. We can take advantage of it. Mu Jing Yun threw a punch at Gao Tuan's face and said, That's why I burned them. So that only I can use those two secret manuals. How can he use them? Here is the translation of the given text into English. Here lies here. Everything lies within. This action and words amazed Gao Tuan. The task of Gao Tuan now is to deliver it to Ta Madam and second brother before dawn. Isn't it that Gao Tuan's family you just mentioned is being coveted by many people? I want this manor master to be harmonious and peaceful. Therefore, we share it with everyone. Wouldn't it be better? This statement surprised Gao Tuan. Transition. Every early morning, as soon as you wake up, make the bed, change clothes. Then, tidy up the surroundings. Check the list of things to do on that day. These are habits formed. Since I was still an assassin, everything had to follow rules and be carefully planned. But soon, I won't need to live like that anymore. If the target is transferred to the second young master, then I will soon hold the position of manor master. Just a few days ago, I was just an orphan, having to do everything on my own. And now, my life is about to turn a new page. At that moment, someone came and said, Kang, the guard, young master Yingbing is looking for you. This left Kang, the guard, completely puzzled. A moment later, in Mu Yingbing's room, Kang the guard angrily walked out, always muttering, What a miserable fate! At this moment, Mu Ying Bing informed Kang the guard that Zhang Yisheng had disappeared. I have sent someone to investigate the third young master to confirm whether he has truly lost his martial arts skills or not. Our people have disappeared without a trace, not even the ghosts know. How dare you deceive me! But Kang guard thought there was something mysterious here. He quickly said, Young master, I did not deceive you even though I only know half of it. There must be a hidden secret inside. When he said this, Mu Ying Bing threw a bowl of ink at his head. Mu Ying Bing then said, So why hasn't Zhang Yishan returned yet? 
Do you think I'm a fool? The bodyguard only knew to stand there and, and think. Why is everything so messed up like this? Sigh. Just like this. Even the last place where I stand is also falling apart. It is impossible. The effort I have put in from before until now cannot be in vain. I absolutely will not let it all go like that. Young master, please give me some time. I will bring Zhang Yishang back to prove that I did not deceive you. You also told me to trust you. I swear on the life of a martial artist and bet my right arm. Upon hearing this, Mu Ying Bing smiled and said, All right then, if that's the case, prove it. I will give you a chance. If you can find Zhang Yishang, I will believe you. Otherwise, I will take your life, not just your right arm. Thank you, dumb master. Returning to the present, Kang the guard is still thinking. Upon reflection, since the appearance of that alias, there is nothing happening as I wish. If he really has any intention, then I will not be at ease for sure. The guard Kang walked to where Mu Jing Yun was. Then he saw Gao Tuan sleeping. He hurriedly rushed forward to grab Gao Tuan by the collar. He angrily asked, Didn't I tell you not to take your eyes off him for even a second? Did you not follow my orders at all? Brother, what's going on? Why are you standing here at this hour? Have you conspired with him, right? What conspiracy, brother? What is this? Teacher, Kane's bodyguard took the secret book. Go to when hurriedly said, Wait, that thing is on this side. Kang's security guard's face turned pale when looking at the book. He started angrily saying, What have you been doing all this time? The sight of him asking like that made Gao Tuan scared. The blood also shot up immediately. After a while, the servants were very scared. Kang, the bodyguard, was pulling Gao Tuan somewhere. He took Gao Tuan to Mu Jing Yun's place. He just arrived and immediately threw Gao Tuan into the room. Gao Tuan is now unconscious. Mu Jing Yun saw Kang, the bodyguard, and said with a smile, Welcome, Kang the bodyguard. Bodyguard Kang said, Please explain quickly. After he finished speaking, he thought to himself, Just by looking in his face, I already feel filthy and dirty. On this side, Mu Jing Yun still smiled and asked Kang the bodyguard, What's the explanation? I'm not free to watch you act. In my heart, I feel restless and indescribably scared. That feeling keeps lingering. Damn it. From the beginning, I warned you how to behave. He immediately rushed forward to grab Lin, shoved Yu's neck, and continued. If you do anything stupid, I will kill you. He did say that. Why can't I remember anything? What? Quickly speak. Where is the young master's bodyguard? Who did his brother say he is? Stop pretending. There's no way he didn't harm him. What can I do strong enough to have the ability to affect anyone? The Kang guard was angry when he heard Mu Jing Yun's words. He thought, I knew it right away. That's why I have this feeling of annoyance. At this moment, Mu Jing Yun smiled and said, I'm saying that, do you think it's true? I am the third young master. If I have lost my martial arts skills, how could I harm him? Didn't you say that before? The guard Kang heard Lion Shu Gai say so. He immediately drew his sword, prepared to kill Mu Jing Yun. However, Mu Jing Yun still smiled and said, What are you planning to do, Kong guard? You are the one who made me impersonate someone else. And then the impersonator, which is me, killed the guard of the second young master. The result was that Kang, the bodyguard, still swung a sword down, and the items in the room were immediately scattered. The guard Kang is currently very sad, kneeling down on the ground and saying, I was born as an orphan child three years ago and grew up as an assassin. Then I left that place, saved some money, and finally came to Mu Sword Manor. For the past three years, I have endured and taken care of everything big and small. Those have been the three hardest years of my life. But you have destroyed everything. Killing third young master is not enough. Now you want to eliminate even the subordinates of the second young master. Therefore, I am forced to kill you. I will not be at peace here. One is to kill. Two is to leave this place. There is no other choice. But no, there is still one more way. Zhang Yishang may be dead and cannot be brought back to life, but I can take something else to exchange with the second young master. I don't know how you got this thing, but the rest of the secret book you are still keeping. Right. Confess. He said these words, then thought, until I have both secret books, I don't need to hold on to his house anymore. Now Mu Jing Yun replied, Um, I'm not sure if by now you still don't understand the issue. If you don't confess, I will cut your throat and leave this place. But if you hand over both secret books, then I will reconsider. If you keep silent and refuse to confess, I will use extreme torture until you die. So while I still have patience, hand over the evidence. Mu Jing Yun also replied, 
Then I will give it to you. Fei Lang shoved Guy said this sentence. He laughed and thought, no matter how tough you are, once you get close to the gates of hell, there is no other choice. After thinking, he smiled and said, well done. You are wise to speak up early like that. Then bring it here. At this moment, Mu Jing Yun took Kang's hand, which made him angry, and he said, What are you doing, huh? What? Then I'm giving you the manual. Everything is in my head. There is one more thing I need to say. He suddenly tightly held Kang's hand, the bodyguard. Lion Shou Guy said again, Thank you, Mr. Kang. Mu Jing Yun is using the first method. The bodyguard Kang sensed that the energy within him was gradually running out. He hurriedly raised his sword to stab Mu Jing Yun. Mu Jing Yun, however, was smiling and said, I don't know who to test this on, but I didn't expect you to volunteer as my experimental subject. I wonder where I should keep your body. The Kang guard on this side is also angry, waving his knife and saying, You wretched person, let me go. He slashed at Mu Jing Yun's hand, causing blood to gush out. He repeatedly stabbed at Mu Jing Yun's body, causing him great pain. Unable to bear it, Mu Jing Yun had to let go. Immediately, Kang quickly stepped in to block a shot for him. The two of them now kept their distance from each other. The security guard Kang's hands are still trembling with each beat. He is looking down at his hand thinking, I can't feel any energy in my hand anymore. He has absorbed my strength. On this side, Mu Jing Yun stood up and smiled. This is my first experience, but it's not enough. I have no other choice but to use a different method to eliminate you. What ritual have you performed? Do you dare to think of killing me? Do you think you can defeat me? Just accept your death, he said, and then rushed towards Mu Jing Yun. Mu Jing Yun also immediately called the demonic monk out. The demonic monk immediately immobilized his arms. This left Kang, the bodyguard, astonished. How could he block it? How is this possible? He finished thinking and then told Mu Jing Yun, What kind of shamanism are you using? Shamanism? Well, it's quite similar. Now I will show you what that thing is. The demonic monk also appeared for Kang's guards to see. The guards, terrified, asked, What is this? At this moment, Mu Jing Yun smiled and said, Now I will return this knife to you along with your internal strength earlier. The knife plunged into Kang's bodyguard's chest causing him to cry out in pain. Mu Jing Yun's face was very satisfied as she was the winner. Eating a stab like this, Kang the defender slowly backed away. Blood was flowing from his body. The guard Kang is still thinking. I made a mistake. The position he stabbed is not dangerous. If I don't withdraw the knife correctly, I could bleed. That guy, he has drained all my internal energy and even used the other power to attack me. I'm so angry. Why did I lead such a dangerous person here? And then he said to Mu Jing Yun, Hey, have you forgotten that I have taken the poison pill? Isn't that supposed to be the secret weapon for situations like this? When he heard him say that, Mu Jing Yun smiled and replied, What's next? Please continue. Let's make a deal together. A deal? That's right. If both of us continue fighting like this, we will both suffer losses. I will give you the antidote in exchange for some money. After all, your main goal is not to escape from this place. Right. He finished speaking and thought. Surely at this point he must bow his head. His own life is still more important than killing me right. Not long after, the old man vomited blood. Jane Yun saw that, so he just looked at my father without answering. On this side, the old Kang bodyguard is thinking in fear. What is this? I have practiced key circulation. Why is my body like this? Turns out, it's poison. At this moment, Mu Jing Yun asked him. Why? The wound is not too deep. Why do you look so painful? Why did you dare? What have you done? Have you poisoned me? Since when? There's nothing much. It's just that earlier you stabbed me with that knife, so it has a lot of my blood on it. That's all. What are you talking about? My blood is also a kind of poison. Pokeweeds, Russula, Fettel Flower, Creeping Fig, Giant Angelica, Pheasant's Eye, and Crow Dipper are the ingredients for that poisonous orb you fed me right. Perhaps because, since I was young, I have eaten too many poisonous plants, so my blood has gradually accumulated toxicity. Do you understand what that means? But he doesn't need to understand. He just needs the antidote. Kane's bodyguard is not feeling well either at the moment. Seeing him like that, Mu Jing Yun asked, What's wrong? Why are you shivering like this again? Are you feeling cold because I opened the window? I thought your whole body was overheating due to the poison, so I opened the window to help lower your temperature. Because according to the principle, if the body temperature is low, the poison will spread slowly 
and you can live a little longer. The defender Kang's hand began to rise. He was begging Mu Jingyun to save him. Please, I beg you, please save me. I swear I will be absolutely loyal to you. I will become your dog. If you want, I will lick your feet. I will crawl on the ground. I will do whatever you like. I beg you to save my life, please. Mu Jing Yun saw this and said the Kang's bodyguard. I like his attitude. Isn't it better like this? If we keep this attitude, we can cooperate smoothly in everything. Seeing him say that, Kang's bodyguard is happy inside. But the next sentence from Mu Jing Yun tells him that if only he had treated me like that from the beginning. While speaking, Am forcefully pressed the knife into Kang's chest. How can a cunning and treacherous person like him speak of loyalty, it would be better if you die quickly. Shortly after, Kang the bodyguard was killed by Mu Jing Yun. He died without being able to close his eyes. After killing Kang, the bodyguard, Mu Jing Yun sighed. He stood up and said that his back still hurts. He made all my clothes torn apart, but I dealt with him earlier than expected. Should I call it lucky? Because he knows his own identity, he must have planned to eliminate himself on some day. Should I kill Gao Tuan? There is no need. It seems he is also tight-lipped, so spare him this time. Anyway, he can still be used. If you have heard me speak, then quickly wake up. Upon waking up, Gao Tuan immediately sat up. As soon as he woke up, Gao Tuan asked, How does my brother know I'm not dead yet? I don't know how. Throughout the battle, he kept moving further and further away, little by little, making us scared. That's how it is. But he is also secretive. I have compliments. He gradually makes me feel satisfied. Thank you. Now go out and find a way to keep everyone away from this place. I will handle Kang's bodyguard. Yes, obey orders. After Gao Tuan left, Mu Jing Yun also began working. He placed his hand on Kang's abdomen. As soon as he placed his hand on it, he thought, What is this feeling? His internal energy was warm, but what I need to confirm is not it. What I feel deep inside is an extremely chilling airflow. It is the breath of death, the feeling when one takes a life. At this moment, a strong gust of air rises. Seeing this airflow, Mu Jing Yun smiles and thinks, Here it is. This is the type of air. The cold and terrifying airflow is accumulating in my energy core. This chilling sensation is truly exhilarating. This is the very aura that I always feel when carrying out massacres, back when I was Lin Shug Guy. In order to accumulate more of this deathly aura, I must kill even more people. On the other side, Adger Ghost is standing on one side, observing Mu Jing Yun. She spoke up. Wow, look at him. I think I understand why you are influenced by him. Because he is a terrifying demon. More than the real demons. On the other hand, Yi Liao Guard. Chu Yang Ping is saying to Mu Ying Bing. Kang Guard, no matter what you think, I don't think he is the kind of person who can betray the second young master. I also think so. But maybe he lied on the day he was discovered, right? He is also human. If he had handled it well from the beginning, things would have been smoother later. Therefore, the young master must prove that I am a selective and strict person like that. In the future, when the other party knows more, we will show a more accommodating side. Then the situation will be better. Originally, human nature is very harsh. So occasionally people must treat each other well in order to achieve great results. Certainly, the young master has a profound insight. So please refrain from speaking meaningless words like that. The meaningless words. What do they mean? Chun Yang Ping said this sentence, he thought. Kang, the guardian of the loyal is low. To be honest, a test like this is necessary. As rumored, the young master is talented in dealing with people. The successor is definitely the young master. Right at that moment, someone ran in and said, Young master, there is a big problem. Mu Ying Bing immediately asked. What's the matter? The person who reported the news was bodyguard Han Sheng. He said, earlier, Kang, the bodyguard, Kang, the bodyguard was about to kill third young master. Why? Why did Kang the defender do that? If he was trying to prove his innocence, then that is truly a foolish thing to do. But that is not the important issue. The third young master declared that the real mastermind behind Kang's bodyguard ordering was none other than Ying Bing Young Master. This sentence made Mu Ying Bing slam the sword on the table, his face angry as he said, Mu Jing Yun, how dare you? Chuan Yang Ping also immediately said, What nonsense has happened? Then where is the security guard Kang? Han Shang also immediately replied nervously, Is that so? Have the bodyguards Kang and Zhang Yi Shang already died? Hearing this, Mu Ying Bing was extremely angry and said, 
I will not let him do anything on his own anymore. Seeing his master leave, Chuan Yang Ping immediately advised, Please wait, young master. If you confront third young master now, it will only make others believe his words even more. So, should I just stand still and take the blame? The despicable name Mu Jing Yun, seeing me defeated, he will mock me for sure. But you tell me to just sit and watch him laugh in my face. Upon hearing Mu Ying Bing's words, Chu Wen Yang Ping also didn't know what to do now. One second later, he thought of something and immediately said, Young master, let's go impact that place. Third young master said that Kane's bodyguard wanted to kill him. If that's true, everything has become much easier. In Kang's guard's place, they are very brave in killing, even having strict rules. Failure is taboo for assassin sex. Even a retired assassin is no exception. At all costs, they will do everything to fulfill the assigned mission. Let me go there and say a few good words to that place. In that place is one of the three assassination organizations of the Central Plains, Fei Xiamen. When Mu Ying Bing heard the words of Chun Yang Ping, he calmed down. Then he smiled and said, Very good. Quickly follow the plan I just mentioned. On the other side, Mu Jing Yun is guarding outside, while Gao Tuan is keeping watch. Inside, Mu Jing Yun was sighing deeply. I have been trying to gather energy into the energy core, following the secret technique all this time, but still failed. Despite bringing the spiritual energy close to the energy core, it still dissipates. Why is that? I no longer think and call Gao Tuan. Gao Tuan sees me calling. He quickly responds. What do you want to advise me? Come here, let me ask you something. We are trying to gather energy into the energy core, but the energy keeps dissipating. Do you know why? When he asked that, Gao Tuan immediately laughed and thought, What is he saying? He hasn't even practiced martial arts once. On the other side, Mu Jing Yun is touching her stomach, thinking, After a night, I feel full of vitality. Could it be because of key circulation? Ben Gao Tuan is still thinking, Should I speak up and scold him for talking nonsense? But if I do, he might end up killing me. He immediately regained his composure and said respectfully, Young master, have you checked yet? How did you check? Check to see why he is transferring gas into the energy core, and it is dissipating. Now follow me, Go to and set before thinking. Okay, now it's best not to go against his wishes. He is still a child. Isn't it at this age, they still think they are geniuses? After entering the room, the two sat down. Go to and said again, don't pay attention to me. Focus on key circulation. Muk Kin Van also followed Gao Tuan's words. After a while, a stream of energy emanated from Mu Jing Yun's body. This also astonishes Gao Tuan. What is he thinking about? Is he really practicing key circulation? Even his blood is so clean that the energy flow is not blocked at all. It's impossible for this to happen unless a master of inner body training with profound energy did concentrated acupressure on him every day. Yes, indeed. He is a genius. What else is there? I feel something strange, something eerie and chilling. At this moment, Gao Tuan's two hands were shot, flying out of Mu Jing Yun's body. Upon seeing this, Mu Jing Yun immediately said, It seems that it has dispersed again. Young master, can you feel it? Yes. Please tell me the truth quickly. I really can't make the energy core condense. Can I? Yes. To be honest, that's true. Young master, I sense some strange aura near your energy core but I can't know what it is. Hearing Gao Tuan's words, Mu Jing Yun thought to herself, what is it that Gao Tuan is saying? Could that be the cause? And what should I do now? Should I just give up on exerting internal energy like this? Now, Gao Tuan pondered again. Strange indeed. It has depleted all the young master's energy. It seems like that energy is not ordinary or found in the energy core. What kind of energy is that? It feels like it is in opposition to the young master's energy core. What could be in opposition to it? No, that's just my speculation. You don't need to pay attention. Mu Jing Yun on this side is thinking. Upon reflection, the foot energy is very warm, while the death energy will be colder, isn't it? After thinking, he immediately said, I think you're right, Gao Tuan. Now I need to reverse my qi circulation. Upon hearing these words, Gao Tuan said in fear, You must not, young master. Please stop right now. You'll fall into Kai deviation if you do. Gao Tuan wants to prevent it, where the blood vessels rush to him, wrapping around his body. That person is none other than Azure Ghost. She is telling Gao Tuan to quickly shut his mouth. Otherwise, I will make that person unable to speak forever. When she finished speaking, she smiled and thought, These foolish people believe they are right. Then he will have to lose his life just because of lack of knowledge. 
If a familiar tries to kill their contractor, it would return as death to us. But if the contractor dies of their own accord, the contract of the familiar will end without any constraints. I never expected to be liberated sooner than expected. When he dies, his soul will disappear, and it will be my own hands that will bury him. At the same time at Hoi Hoi Hall, there was a person speaking to Madame Ta. I am a shimin from the Phoenix Pavilion. My name is Siuk. This person has a red eye on his hand, holding a scepter. His face is very cold-hearted. When Madame Ta saw him, she thought Mu Tian. He used the dead technique, but only sent one person here. How come? The voice just now seems to be a young woman. But why did she bring Mu Tian's body here? At this moment, Siuk spoke up. We bring the body of Mu Tian here to seek revenge on the one who killed my junior brother Mu Tian. Hearing her say that, Madame Te was amazed and thought, Junior brother, how can she have a higher rank than Mu Tian? Now Siuk added that there is something we need to do. Madame Te immediately asked, What is that thing? The third young master. I must kill him. When Madame Ta heard these words, she began to laugh and said, Honestly, at first I couldn't believe it, but now I like you. On this side, Siuk also begins to demonstrate his strength. She held his hand and said, Very well. At once, immediately Mu Tian is in the open coffin, opening his eyes. While speaking, she used a knife in her hand to stab straight into Mu Tian's chest. This stab wound Mu Tian in the army is showing signs of waking up. Madame Ta and Hu Wang, witnessing this scene, were both horrified. Mu Tian's body is undergoing a mutation. Many hands are trying to reach out from his mouth. Siuk immediately said, the main target is Mu Jing Yun. Go right away. One second later, thousands of hands from inside Master Mu's body rushed out like crazy. These hands are rushing straight outwards. All hands are reaching towards Mu Jing Yun's room. Inside the room, Mu Jing Yun Azure Ghost, along with the demonic monk, also sensed that a deadly remnant was approaching. The hands are reaching through the Azure Ghost. The hand is reaching towards where Mu Jing Yun is sitting in meditation. Seeing those hands with the intention of killing their master, the demonic monk immediately rushed forward to stop them. But the power of those hands is too great, directly pushing the demonic monk far away. Seeing this scene, Azure Ghost was astonished, thinking it was a counter-death. A counter-death means that every time you strike, the one who suffers pain is the other person. On this side, Siuk is continuously using a knife to stab into the body of the demonic monk. On the other side, the demonic monk is also having to resist a terrifying power. Madame Ta sees the shim in Siuk displaying his power. She smiles and thinks, just by looking at him, I already feel excited. Please stab faster, stab more, so he can feel each night strike. Let him feel the pain to the extreme. On this side, Adger Ghost also refuses to stand still. She smokes and says, it's truly annoying. She took a deep breath and flicked the cigarette butt. The drops of blood immediately shot towards the hands. Those hands were also directly smashed. After defeating the Azure Ghost, she used her strength to look outside. In her eyes right now is the scene of Shaman Sik performing his magic. She saw that and angrily said, Don't you dare interfere with my business. She used her own strength to fight off, causing blood to splatter everywhere. The power of the woman this time not only shattered the hands, but also reached the place where Shaman Siak was performing the ritual. Shaman Siak on this side also sensed the danger. One second later, Adger's blood rushed from the outside to strike them on her body. Madame Ta saw this and quickly rushed to say, Shaman Siak, are you okay? Shaman Siak at this moment was vomiting blood, thinking, I can't believe I'm being counter-death struck back. It turns out that demon is not just at the level of a yellow spirit. After thinking for a while, she determinedly said, Madam, we have to increase the wages. The lady said that. What does she mean? Does she want more money? Yes. Madam must give me another thousand silver coins. Upon hearing Shaman Suk's words, Hu Wang immediately responded. It's true that it's nonsense. With only 500 silver coins, you have already bought so much rice. And now you're asking for a thousand more silver coins. At that time, we didn't know the situation well. But now things have changed. This matter is very dangerous and could even endanger my life. Teacher, that person is lying. Madame Ta also a little worried asked. Is this matter really that dangerous? Yes, he has successfully summoned a demon, a yellow spirit that can kill and threaten human lives. But this demon is even more dangerous. They are no different from disasters. A mediocre shaman facing a green spirit is already difficult. Let alone a yellow spirit. Only shamans like us can handle it. After listening to Madame Ta, 
she immediately agreed. Even though Huang had some minor objections that were not significant, Madame Ta now says, I agree with all your requests, but you must definitely remove that name Mu Jing Yun for me. It's okay. Demons have ranks just like shamans, according to the order from high to low. They are God, Sun Moon gifted darkness, surf. Compared to Mu Tian, I have to undergo five years of training. I am two levels above him. I am indeed a gifted Taoist. When Shaman Siak removed his bamboo face towel, Madame Tae was amazed and thought to herself, she looks younger than I thought. She was lost in thought when she had to widen her eyes in amazement at the scene in front of her. Shaman Suk's body was emitting dark aura, saying, Moreover, only three people in the ghastly spirit pavilion. It is possible to summon Doc Avis only. Shaman Siak summons Chamamorio and opens the door to go outside, saying, I must confirm again, third young master Mu Jing Yun will not survive tonight. He absolutely cannot live when I am here. On the other side, next to Mu Jing Yun, things are in chaos. Azure Ghost is smoking and saying, It is indeed troublesome, daring to obstruct me. After speaking, she thought, If he is in the middle of circulation and being attacked by someone, then his death will become involuntary. These dogs, almost ruining my plan. This guy is about to die, and they are still bothering him. I don't know what they want. At this moment, Mu Jing Yun's body undergoes a transformation. When Azure Ghost sees this scene, she is amazed and thinks, Death energy and dark aura, what strange thing is happening? Why can a person who has been revived accumulate death key? Everything has gone beyond my control. It's not easy. He originally didn't understand the secret techniques of this art, didn't even know key circulation, but could master it after just one try. Now he can even accumulate death key in his living body. I really don't want to admit it, but I'm starting to be interested in him. Just then, Mu Jing Yun slowly opened his eyes and looked up at his hands. He began to laugh and said, Indeed, just as I thought, all we need to do is reverse the key circulation, and this energy will no longer dissipate like vitality. However, it's a pity that there is not enough to form our energy core yet. At this moment, Azure Ghost also spoke up to Mu Jing Yun. That foolish person, is he really still alive? What does she mean? Just by looking at the other side, you could tell right away, how can a person still alive and healthy like this accumulate death energy? So that's impossible, but there may be a few exceptional cases. Well, can we talk about that later? How did this Azure Ghost suddenly turn everything into a mess? Now people are just realizing it, huh? The demonic monk's body was covered in wounds, while Gao Tuan, the bodyguard, was unconscious on the ground. Why does he always end up lying on the ground like this every day? When Mu Jing Yun asked Azure Ghost about it, she just turned away without answering. Just then, the demonic monk woke up. The demonic monk ran to Mu Jing Yun and pointed towards the direction of Azure Ghost, telling him everything. After hearing it, Mu Jing Yun said, So that's how it is. Meanwhile, Gao Tuan, seeing the demonic monk whispering to Azure Ghost angrily, said, You sneaky guy, planning to speak ill of me. She immediately rushed to kick the demonic monk, cursing him. You've messed up everything for me. Meanwhile, Mu Jing Yun on the other side was saying, Azure Ghost, you really know how to seize opportunities, don't you? What, I saved you from a counter-death. If you don't know how to thank me then just don't blame me. What is a counter-death? Azure Ghost also intended to tell Mu Jing Yun what a counter-death is. But at this moment there was a very loud sound echoing. Azure Ghost also recognized that the person using magic to harm Mu Jing Yun had arrived at the door. Mu Jing Yun at that moment, still stood there asking Azure Ghost, what was that sound just now? Upon seeing him ask, Azure Ghost immediately replied, alas, you have already become entangled in several troublesome matters. At this moment, from outside the door, there are black smoke columns creeping inside. This is Chan Morio. They dock abyss, Azure Ghost immediately exclaimed, which crazy person dares to summon such a terrifying creature? Mu Jing Yun, upon seeing this, asked, what is this? Azure Ghost quickly replied. It is none other than China Morio. At this moment, there are many insects rushing from outside into Mu Jing Yun's room. China lives on the mountain, while Morio lives in the sea. Since ancient times, humans have called the things that cause disasters China Morio. Among them is the mountain-piercing shelled beast. The mountain-piercing shelled beast has a body like a bird and a tail like a snake. They can control insects to cause disasters. They are very dangerous, so dangerous that people call them evil beasts. At this moment, 
Shaman Siuk is slowly stepping out of the room, saying, Shaman has no feelings. Shaman is someone who cares for death. Therefore, even if my junior brother dies, I do not feel sad. However, I am not very comfortable seeing a familiar face being tortured. Third young master Mu Jing Yun, you will become the prey of the mountain-piercing shell beast. At the same time, Mu Jing Yun was amazed to see many insects crawling into her room. On the other side, Gao Tuan is still sleeping soundly. One second later, Mu Jing Yun slapped Gao Tuan and told him to wake up quickly. Gao Tuan also quickly woke up in surprise and asked, What's happening? Mu Jing Yun told him to quickly get up and catch these bugs, as this place is very dangerous. Gao Tuan immediately followed suit, but he noticed something was amiss. His hands were now covered in many wounds. Gao Tuan hurriedly said to Mu Jing Yun, I've only just touched it a little bit, and it's already like this. Please quickly use your martial arts to protect yourself. Now Mu Jing Yun thought, although each beetle is very small, but with such a large quantity like this, it could be devoured in the blink of an eye. At this moment, Adger Ghost spoke up. What are you planning to do? If you keep going like this, you will become their meal. That's probably how it will end. Azure Ghost, can you help me? Why do I have to help, and how can I help? We are supposed to coexist with each other. Are you determined to be uncooperative forever? Seeing Mu Jing Yun standing there talking, Gao Tul immediately said, Young master talking to the air. Now Azure Ghost smiled and replied to Mu Jing Yun, Offer your soul here, and I will consider. Forget it. Let's hold hands and die together. After finishing his answer, he immediately had to swat bugs from all directions and exclaimed, why are there so many bugs? At this moment, Azure Ghost called out to Mu Jing Yun. Hey, let's bet on a game. What are we betting on? Yes, that's right. Go ahead and place your bet. If you feel things are not going well, just give me your soul, because sooner or later, you will die. But if you manage to overcome the danger by yourself, I will support you with all my strength in the future. Upon hearing Azure Ghost speak these words, Mu Jing Yun immediately responded, You must keep your word. Azure Ghost. At the same time, the bugs are crawling on the bed of the two people. Gao Tuan also immediately said to Mu Jing Yun, Young master, the number of them is increasing day by day. What should we do? Gao Tuan, we need to find something to burn. We will light a fire here. What is the young master saying? Just need to light the fire with the lamp over there. No matter how many bugs come, they can't do anything to us. Mu Jing Yun finished speaking and immediately took action. But he was stopped by Gao Tuan who said, But the lantern is far away. Mu Jing Yun ignored Gao Tuan's words and exerted his strength. Immediately, a powerful force pulled the lantern towards him. Seeing Mu Jing Yun use this move, Gao Tuan immediately asked, Young master, what amazing move did you just use? Is it a technique that sucks in objects? I don't have time to explain. Mu Jing Yun was lighting the fire while deep in thought, wondering who could have created this. Who could possibly know about shamanism or magic? A second later, he thought to himself, it must have been Madame Ta. So next to Madame Ta right now is a shaman. After this place is on fire, chaos will spread everywhere. I will take advantage of that to go kill that shaman. Right at that moment, next to Shaman Siuk, one of her eyes lit up, and she immediately said, the mountain-piercing shell beast. When her voice was raised, the insects on this side immediately flew up to form a whirlwind. The tornado bug flew straight to Mu Jing Yun's location, preventing him from lighting a big fire. Outside the shaman Siuk is walking in the hallway saying, Do you think I will stand still and watch your ordinary tricks? Wherever she goes, the bugs have to make way for her to pass through. Shaman Siuk is still saying, You are truly foolish, Mu Jing Yun. My right eye is the white eye, which can see the hidden face of the world. The obscured world is the world of energy. Whatever trick you have behind that wall, you can't hide it from me. This is my world. A world where I can see everything. The mountain-piercing shell beast exploding for us. One of her screams echoed, and the wall where her hand was placed immediately exploded. Shaman Siuk and Mu Jing Yun also came face to face. Mu Jing Yun saw her, and he immediately smiled and said, I'm very happy to meet you. Shaman Siuk still stood there without answering Mu Jing Yun, while she was using white eyes to see two red strings in the middle of Mu Jing Yun's chest. At the same time, the demonic monk controlled by Mu Jing Yun is planning to attack Shaman Siuk. One second later, Shaman Siuk discovered and whispered a dark curse. Many hands suddenly emerged from nowhere, striking the demonic monk down to the ground. After striking, she immediately stepped on the head of the demonic monk and said, 
It's useless. I can see everything. At the same time, Gao Tuwen also took out his dart, hiding it behind his back. One second later, Gao Tuwen also immediately rushed up and shot the arrow. The shaman Siok on this side remained calm despite seeing that. Standing there, he took out a talisman and threw it towards Gao Tuwen's direction. Immediately, Gao Tuwen was shocked with electricity all over his body. Gao Tuwen had to drop the knife. Mu Jing Yun saw this, and he quickly grabbed the small knife. However, Shaman Siak immediately instructed the mountain piercing shell beast to come to me, to kill him for me. A multitude of insects are heading towards Mu Jing Yun. Mu Jing Yun also saw a lot of bugs coming, so she felt a bit panicked. One second later, but this beetle had already struck Mu Jing Yun, sending her flying into the wall behind. These insects are very thirsty for blood. At this moment, Shaman Siak raised his hand and said, Third young master of Mu Sword Manor, Mu Jing Yun, sink into eternal sleep. Next to Mu Jing Yun, he is surrounded by a lot of bugs. These bugs are also biting him. At this moment, Shaman Siak is pondering, solving them quicker than he thought. Could it be that he is not the Azure Ghost after all? She thought for a moment, then smiled and said to the mountain piercing shell beast that it did a great job. Then she left, saying goodbye. If he's left alone, he'll be eaten by insects and die. This story is nothing special. The moment she was pleased, suddenly her pupil contracted. The woman is standing still in place, and behind her, Mu Jing Yun has stood up. Mu Jing Yun is using a knife to stab his own body. The shaman Siak also turned back to look at him. The sinister face and deadly smile still appear on Mu Jing Yun's face. Suddenly, there are bugs falling to the ground. Mu Jing Yun is looking at shaman Siak. On the shaman Suk's side, he was struck with terror at Mu Jing Yun's actions as he was on the verge of death. Previously, Mu Jing Yun raised the knife and directly cut a line on his own hand. After cutting this line, he did not feel pain, but instead laughed very cheerfully. Still, the beetles kept falling down, and after a while, many of them perished. This is beyond the imagination of Shaman Siak. Standing in front of her is not a human being. Mu Jing Yun is raising his hand to his head to let his blood flow throughout his body. This array shows the face of Shaman Siak transitioning from amazement to horror. Mu Jing Yun used extreme speed to rush towards her. He rushed over and said with a smile, My blood is the ultimate poison, so exterminating those bugs is not difficult at all. Mu Jing Yun finished speaking, and then he stabbed towards him with a knife, but Shaman Siak jumped to the side to avoid it. She immediately took control of the mountain piercing shell beast to fight back. The mountain piercing shell beast also received the command to obey. It is releasing dark and ominous energy towards Mu Jing Yun. On this side, Shaman Siuk is also standing up, realizing that using insect attacks no longer has any effect on him. It's like he's just buying time. I have to display some powerful technique to increase his strength. She immediately used the spirit power commanding method. Thought shattering eight techniques. At the same time, Mu Jing Yun also refused to back down. He began to unleash his own strength. He used the first technique that immediately released a powerful force towards the mountain piercing shell beast. In just a blink of an eye, the mountain piercing shell beast was in the hands of Mu Jing Yun. This is beyond the imagination of Shaman Sikh. She does not understand what is happening in front of her. On the other side, the group of insects has almost completely died. Mu Jing Yun at this moment slowly smiled and said, Finally, there is a bit of peace and quiet. Shaman Siuk saw the mountain piercing shell beast that he raised being squeezed by Mu Jing Yun, so she rushed over to him in a panic and said, What is this? My mountain piercing shell beast. As she was running, a red thread appeared in front of her chest. This caused her body to freeze. What do you think suddenly hurts so much like this? This pain originates from the power of the mountain piercing shell beast and me. What happened to the mountain piercing shell beast in the end? What is that? Is the love gas of the mountain piercing shell beast. On this side, the mountain piercing shell beast is howling in pain. While on the other side, Shaman Siak is opening his white eye to look, and she sees. Mu Jing Yun is absorbing demonic ki from the body of the mountain piercing shell beast. What is this story about? He is still alive. How can he absorb demonic kai? At this moment, Mu Jing Yun is still absorbing the spiritual energy of the mountain piercing shell beast and smiling kindly at her enemy. Meanwhile, Shaman Sik is thinking, this is truly different from the usual. He couldn't kill even a single insect with his bare hand. Surely there is something very powerful within him. Not only that, but there are many other things as well. And as days go by, it accumulates more by killing ruthlessly. 
That way, he can create an energy core in a short period of time. After thinking for a moment, she raised her hand and said to Mu Jing Yun, Wait, if you absorb so much of its energy like that, the mountain-piercing shell beast will die. Stop it. Please stop. Don't absorb its demonic Kai anymore. Seeing Shim and Siuk sitting there begging me, Mu Jing Yun just smiled without saying a word to her. At the same time in Hua Hua Hall, Madam Ta's residence, Huang is saying, Madam, it's very cold outside. Please come inside. Madam replies, The situation is still unclear. I cannot sit still. If necessary, I will go check myself. Madam Ta immediately said with a smile, I want to ask that shaman two things. One is the life of Mu Jing Yun. The other is the secret book. To prevent her from taking the secret book, I must ensure that no one gets both of those secret books. At this very moment, a servant heard someone say, Madam, the shaman has returned. Madam also turned around to look. She saw the figure of shaman Siak slowly approaching towards her. Seeing her, Madam Ta smiled and said, She finally returned, so she has succeeded. After saying that, she started laughing and thinking, Mu Jing Yun, you foolish and dirty person. Now the two secret books are about to fall into my hands, and then my son will become the manor master here. At the same time, Hu Wang and the servant also laughed and said, Congratulations, madam, congratulations, madam. She was very happy but told them, It's okay, don't get too excited like that. Now Shaman Siuk is walking, then she stops. This makes the three Madam Ta people all confused. Madam Ta immediately thinks, Why doesn't she come back here? Then she also says to Shaman Siuk, What's the matter? Come here quickly and tell me. The shaman Siuk on this side also heard the words of the old woman. She took a deep breath and replied, Madam, the Phoenix Pavilion we have received information from you, but cannot kill third young master Mu Jing Yun. Madam Ta's face turned pale when she heard these words from her. Still, beside the angry shaman Siuk was thinking, He is indeed a demon disguised as a human. He made me do these things. A few minutes earlier, Mu Jing Yun was telling shaman Siuk, Accused Madame Tao with her own words. She said she would do anything to save her beloved mountain piercing shell beast. Returning to the present, Shaman Siuk is still pondering. By doing so, I will become a traitor to the Phoenix Pavilion. But there is no other way. She was very thoughtful before saying loudly. She said that young master Mu Jing Yun is a demon. She asked us to destroy the demons following us and kill young master Mu Jing Yun. But from what I saw, Young Master Mu Jing Yun is not a demon at all, so never delegate that task to the Phoenix Pavilion again. This statement was so shocking that it stirred up everyone around them who were gossiping. What is it? Does Madame Ta want to kill third young master? Madame Ta did that to seize the position of Manor Master. Quickly go to Hoi Ho Hall to capture Madame Ta again. At that moment, Huang saw someone speaking and said to Madame Ta, Madame, the martial artists of Manor Master, they are approaching here, Madame. At this moment, Madam Ta's face contorted in anger thinking. That wretched name, Mu Jing Yun. The scene shifted a moment later, and the crowd inside Mu Sword Manor was still clamoring. What happened at Hua Hua Hall? Where is third young master? On this side, Shaman Siuk is walking confidently after finishing his work. Suddenly on the upper floor, Mu Jing Yun spoke up. Are you okay, baby? Siuk just looked up without answering her. With gentleness coming from her nature, Mu Jing Yun smiled peacefully while casually squeezing the mountain-piercing shell beast in her hand. Shama Sia clenched her fist in anger upon seeing her pet being abused. As the young master saw it, then she thought angrily, Finally, I have to follow his will, and I have become the enemy of Madame Ta and the ghastly spirit pavilion. Madame Ta has become a wicked plotter to harm other young masters. I don't know who should worry about whom anymore. Just because I saved the demon that I had to betray the ghastly spirit pavilion. Perhaps I will be expelled for the rest of my life. But I don't care. Everything will pass eventually. Then she reached out her hand and said, I have fulfilled my promise. Now return the mountain-piercing shell beast to me. Mu Jing Yun replied calmly, Just stay calm. I still have something to ask you. A moment later in Mu Jing Yun's room, Shama was shocked with a look of astonishment as she asked, Do you want me to tell you about Chai Morio? Jing Yun, still petting her favorite pet, replied, Yes. I want to know all about those who can summon demons like the demonic monk or the foolish bird, especially about your ghostly figure. The more details, the better. Looking at Mu Jing Yun, Shaman Siuk thought to himself, so he really managed to subdue the vengeful spirit as his servant, rather than being possessed by it. 
but it's still quite puzzling, as vengeful spirits are usually fueled by hatred. Why would he be able to control it as his servant? Furthermore, he not only has one demonic god, but there is another demonic god lurking around this place. On the other side, Mu Jing Yun saw that Shaman Sik did not respond to her, so he squeezed the chicken's neck and asked, Don't you like to have an honest conversation with each other? The Shaman Sik also immediately bowed his head down and replied, There is none. Then she explained, Chamamorio is divided into six levels. The higher the level, the more dangerous it becomes. Demonic god, ominous beast, strange beast, mythical beast, demonic beast, sacred beast, divine beast. At the ominous beast level, disasters may already occur at a small scale. In the Phoenix Pavilion, the number of people who can withstand this type of demonic god includes me, totaling three people. First of all is Go, the assistant of the leaders. His demonic god is the strange beast of Lugu Mountain called Gu Diao. I am not sure about its abilities but it is clear that it can cause disasters. The remaining person is the leader of the Phoenix Pavilion. We also do not know which Chimorio he owns, but I think his Chimorio is of the highest level. So could it be a sacred beast or a divine beast then? There are no. Sacred beasts and divine beasts only exist in legends. I rarely hear of anyone summoning a demonic god level sacred beast. Perhaps his demonic god is at the level of mythical beast or demonic beast. I have brought this. Maybe there is a lot of information that the young master needs. This is the Shanghai Jing. Mu Jing Yun also held up the book to read and pondered. Commanding the Phoenix Pavilion is already the mountain-piercing shell beast. Yet they possess so much power. I wonder how much more power the high-ranking Chai Memorial has. After thinking, and threw the mountain-piercing shell beast back to Shaman Sik, saying, Here, I return this to you. The Shaman Sik carefully took the mountain-piercing shell beast in his hands his heart filled with pity as it had been squeezed almost to death. Seeing her silent, Mu Jing Yun asked, Aren't you going to thank me? Hearing him say that, she quickly replied, Thank you. And he urged her to say it louder. So she added, Thank you, young master. With that, she was allowed to leave. Seeing this scene, Gao Tuwen stood to the side and thought, It's true that humans can be mean. A moment later, Shaman Siak left feeling very angry because the pent-up frustration inside her couldn't be released. Returning to where Mu Jing Yun was, he was smiling and thinking, Today is truly a lucky day. Madam Ta can no longer touch me. She will have to be supervised by the people here. As for me, I absorbed a huge amount of gas from the mountain-piercing shell beast, enough to form an energy core. Now I can practice martial arts and seek revenge. At this moment, Gao Tuwan asked Mu Jing Yun, Young master, will everything be okay? What do you mean by that? That shaman will surely hold the heart full of resentment. She promised, so she must do it, no matter what it takes. But this matter is also worth worrying about. It may sound like we are overly concerned. But if a disaster happens, what Go Tuan said is correct. But nothing happened. Now she has to fulfill her promise. A moment later, moving to Shaman Suck's spot, she is now walking and thinking the mountain-piercing shell beast is too dangerous. Now it's not strange if it dies. The name Mu Jing Yun is the one. Now I can retreat, but in the not too distant future, your body. She had just returned to think these words when she heard a voice. It seems that she has made up her mind to seek revenge, hasn't she? The shaman Sia heard these words and immediately jumped back to keep a distance. But in front of her now, there was no one. Yet she was trembling with fear because of a sense of unease in this place. The eyes of Shaman Siak began to bleed as she strained to see the dark entity she thought was a counter-death. Why would such a terrifyingly evil existence like this? She didn't think much when a hand from behind her directly took away her white eye. Now, the next thing gradually reveals itself. That evil spirit is none other than the Adger Ghost. Adger Ghost is laughing and saying, Even though she has lost one eye, she still looks beautiful doesn't she? When the shaman Sia heard the words of the Azure ghost, her face began to distort. Blood started pouring out of her mouth, making it hard for her to breathe, and ultimately resulting in her tragic death. At the same time, at Madame Ta's place, she was banging on the table. Mu Jing Yun, that Mu Jing Yun, was secretly plotting against me, saying I'm unjustly accused. Someone like me couldn't harm him. Could they? Clearly, he conspired with that shaman to frame me. At that moment, the hour hall master slammed his hand on the table to silence her, which also startled Madame Ta. In the outer hall, Master Chong Bei over here is still chatting and laughing. 
Please, madam, help me quietly. Tell me what happened in the medicinal hall yesterday. The story goes, I just came to ask him why he came to the manor master hall when I had already banned him from entering. Isn't saving the life of the manor master still a top priority in the end? Madame Ta intended to murder manor master. Upon hearing that statement, Madame Ta angrily said, Our hall master. One second later, her face became timid again as she saw Xiong Ba's face, looking very cold and dangerous. Xiong Ba now said, Third young master almost lost his life, so this is not something that can be easily overlooked. Coming up, we will conduct an investigation according to procedure, and we hope that Madam will cooperate. Madam, please don't worry. The investigation will be carried out fairly. Both Madam Ta and the second young master, as well as the third young master, will all be included in the special investigation. After he finished speaking, he immediately returned to his room. He is thinking, why are both Madam Ta and the second young master targeting third young master? If they want to cause trouble, why not pick on the youngest, who is favored by the manor master and lacks any martial arts talent? Moreover, his background is also inferior like third young master. Is there something about third young master that they find worth targeting that I am not aware of? Now that I think about it, when we investigate third young master outside the manor master, the young master looks quite different from usual. Normally, the young master is very arrogant and confident. I don't know if that day he was too surprised to face death, or if he was too calm about the situation. On that day, something very strange happened in third young master. Anyway, we must personally investigate to find out. At this moment, Mu Jing Yun was cultivating her energy core after absorbing the key from the mountain piercing shell beast. At the same time, Azure Ghost had finished dealing with Shim and Siuk, and she had returned. As soon as she returned, the demonic monk greeted her. She looked at Mu Jing Yun, surprised that he could handle the demonic key absorbed from the mountain piercing shell beast so neatly. Thinking back, he was very excited when he mentioned creating an energy core using Death Key, which was quite possible. Azure Ghost finished thinking and just stared at Mu Jing Yun. At that moment, Mu Jing Yun slowly opened his eyes. Azure Ghost still didn't know what to do, but instinctively pressed his face against his, thinking. Upon closer inspection, this guy's appearance is also. While she was thinking, Mu Jing Yun opened her eyes completely, and as soon as he saw her big face, he immediately asked, Azure Ghost, what are you doing? Hearing that question, Azure Ghost quickly turned away, feeling embarrassed and said, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. Seeing her expression like that, Mu Jing Yun teasingly replied, is that so? This statement made Than extremely angry. She turned back and shouted in Mu Jing Yun's face, please don't talk nonsense anymore. Quickly focus on your Thai circulation. After speaking, she bit her lip and thought, damn it, why did I agree to gamble with him? Stupid shaman. Why didn't I try a little harder? At this moment, Mu Jing Yun said to Azure Ghost, All right, now I remember, I need to verify something. See him ask. Azure Ghost also asked, What do you need to verify? Mu Jing Yun placed her hand on her stomach and asked, Is this the energy core that Azure Ghost mentioned? Upon hearing him say that, Azure Ghost sneered and said, Oh, so you think you can just create an energy core in one morning? You really have to work hard and diligently to achieve that. She had not finished her sentence when Mu Jing Yun interrupted. So what gathers under this robe isn't in an energy core? Azure Ghost is also puzzled when seeing Mu Jing Yun successfully creating the energy core. However, she still doesn't believe it. She still tells him, Let me check, and I will know immediately. Mu Jing Yun then saw this and asked, How do I check? I just need to place my hand on the energy core and materialize my fingertips. It may be a bit uncomfortable, but try to endure it. Just after speaking, Azure Ghost placed his hand on Mu Jing Yun's stomach. At this moment, she kept lifting it and then placing it back, which made Mu Jing Yun confused. He asked, What are you doing? The teacher replied, I can't get in. Why can't you get in? At this moment, Azure Ghost turned back to tell the demonic monk, This is something I also do not know. Hey! You should take a look again. The result was that the two people kept touching Mu Jing Yun's body playfully. And when they couldn't figure out why, Mu Jing Yun asked, Azure Ghost, can you guess the reason? To which she replied, I don't know. Then she thought to herself, Could it be that because I have become his demonic god, I cannot feel the body of my master? At this moment, she glanced over at Gao Tuan, who was lying there as if dead. She used her power to press it onto Gao Tuan's energy core, causing Gao Tuan 
who was sleeping, to wake up screaming in pain. After shouting, Gao Tuan faints again. Seeing this, Azure Ghost looks at Gao Tuan disdainfully and says, this guy really knows how to make a fool of himself. Now, Azure Ghost said to Mu Jing Yun, Anyway, the problem does not lie with me. So there is no other way to verify it. It's not that there isn't any, but rather not really. She was about to speak when everyone in the room could sense that someone was approaching. Mu Jing Yun and Azure Ghost both are staring towards the door. A second later, a voice from behind the door echoes. Has the young master gone to sleep yet? Our hall master Chun Bao would like to see him. Seeing Sean B approaching, Mu Jing Yun thought, Why is he coming here at this hour? Outer Hall Master Sean Ba has served as the loyal attendant to the Manor Master of Mu Sword Manor for two generations. He is a trustworthy individual, and even the elders have faith in him. To the extent that whichever young master he chooses will become the next Manor Master, he is someone whom not even Madame Tat dares to disobey. Currently, he holds the most influence within Mu Sword Manor. Returning to the present, Sean Bei entered the room with a smile and asked, Young master, you're still not asleep. Mu Jing Yun replied, I haven't slept yet, outer hall master. What can I do for you? Xiong Ba first came to apologize to the young master, even though he had arranged skilled guards. But it was my negligence. It's okay. You don't need to worry about that. Not at all. Anyway, I don't hold a grudge, so don't worry. At this moment, Xiong Ba's expression changed. He rushed towards Mu Jing Yun and said, Young master, may I have your permission? Xiong Ba's hand slowly advanced towards Mu Jing Yun. At that time, Mu Jing Yun also did not understand anything. One second later, Xiong Bi clapped his hands on Mu Jing Yun's shoulder and said with a smile, Thank you, young master, for being generous to me. But where did I leave the dagger I gave to the young master? The dagger that is used for self-defense, which I gave to the young master when the manor master encountered trouble. Which young master? I'll give you one too. Did the young master lose it? Seeing him ask Mu Jing Yun what he's thinking and then answer. Oh, I remember now. I put it in the wardrobe. So that's it. Luckily then, I thought the young master had lost it. That would be very sad. But that dagger, I wonder, are you okay, young master? It seems that I have never heard of that before. Of course, because we haven't mentioned it to anyone. Of course, because I gave it to someone. After Chun Ba finished speaking, he immediately rushed in. He struck down, but Mu Jing Yun jumped up and dodged the blow. Xiong Ba continued to rush forward and said to Mu Jing Yun, You have two mistakes. He sealed the acupuncture points on Mu Jing Yun's body and began to speak. The first thing is that third young master is a very arrogant person when others are humble to him. The second thing is that after third young master was beaten by the fourth young master, it can be said that he often has the habit of starting whenever someone raises their hand. But just now, you were very tolerant and not at all startled. I have sealed your acupuncture points. Now you cannot move anymore. So, please hurry up. Where is third young master really at? At this moment, Mu Jing Yun's body is soaring freely in the air. One second later, his feet touch the ground. His body also moves normally. The demon within him is also activated. Seeing Mu Jing Yun still able to move, this made Zhang Bei amazed and exclaimed, What is happening here? Mu Jing Yun is now standing here, smiling. He shouts loudly in Zhang Bei's face, calling his azure ghost forth. A hand from nowhere appeared, striking straight to Zhang Bei's chest, causing him to unable to scream. He was in pain, thinking, Why is my own heart being squeezed tightly like this? At that moment, the sound of azure ghost echoed. Indeed stupid, wanting to die like that. Seeing Xiong Bei being controlled, Mu Jing Yun on this side smiled and said, Indeed, the Azure Ghost level is different. Azure Ghost on this side is also laughing and talking. So, vitality and death are originally opposite to each other. So when being affected by acupuncture point sealing, the meridian shifts and scatters naturally. Thus, he has formed his energy core. Although he does not have good martial arts skills, acupuncture point sealing still has no effect on his body. Indeed, very interesting. However, I managed to obtain the energy core, but then I was discovered missing it. What should I do now? I see that learning martial arts here seems distant. I also can't kill the outer hall master. Unexpectedly, I was discovered like this. But it's okay. This is not difficult at all. After thinking for a moment, he said, Demonic monk, enter the body of the great Xiong Ba. Xiong Ba, upon hearing this sentence, was filled with fear. While Azure Ghost was telling Mu Jing Yun, you truly are a ruthless person. 
Xiong Ba is trying to break free from the control of his thoughts. Who is he talking to? What does it mean to enter the body? He has not finished his train of thought yet when Xiong Ba let out painful cries, his face tensed with green veins popping out, wondering, what is happening after all? There is someone who looks exactly like third young master appeared. Someone I couldn't acupuncture point ceiling. Then it feels like my heart is being held tightly like this. I already knew things I should know. Who are you in the end? Seeing him asking himself, Muk Tin Van smiled and said, I am of course the third young master of Musword Manor and the outer hall master Changba.